Legacies will be born, dreams will be realized, but the question remains, who will reign supreme? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the highly anticipated Kane of the Rain pay-per-view. We have a great night ahead of us, ahead of a lot of special guest commentators, but we're going to kick off the night strong with the Triple Threat Tag Team Championship ladder match. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kane of the Rain. I am your host. Thank you all so much for tuning in. This is set to be one hell of a pay-per-view. I hope you guys are ready. Sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, grab a beverage, kick up your feet, because this is going to be one for the ages. As I said, this match to kick off the show is a triple threat match. It's a triple threat ladder match for the World Tag Team Championships. The APA awaits their opponents. This is set to be one hell of a night. Ladies and gentlemen, as I said, we have a number of special guest commentators that will step in the booth for tonight's event. But first, we're gonna kick off the show in the strongest way that we know how. And here comes the champs, Road Dog. Billy Gunn, obviously you don't see the World Tag Titles around their waist, and that is because they are hanging high above the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, in this ladder match, there are no rules, no count outs, no disqualifications, no pin, no submission. The only way to win is to climb the ladder and grab the titles for your team. The question is who will do it? The Outlaws, D-Generation X, they've captured those tag titles at WrestleMania 20, of course, as you don't see by their side, X-Pac is not here tonight, is not alongside D-Generation X because he has been drafted to SmackDown. We have not seen him since. But the Outlaws are not gonna let that stop them. They're gonna look to retain their titles here tonight. If you cast your minds back to Bad Blood, the match was set to be, oh, hold on a minute. As I was saying, if you cast your minds back to the Bad Blood pay-per-view, the match was set to be the New Age Outlaws, Billy Gunn and Road Dogg versus Bradshaw and Farouk for the World Tag Titles. But both teams were taken out at the hands of this team. Bobby Roode and James Storm. Beer. Money. Two things that we all know and love very much, beer and money, at least I can speak for myself. Bobby Roode and James Storm have been on one hell of a roll and they get their first tag team championship match right here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But the question is, can they do it? All three teams have spent some time in jail ahead of this after a barroom brawl. A barroom showdown went haywire, but wait a minute, this match, this match is not taking any longer to get started. Of course, one thing that we know reigns true is that both the APA and the Outlaws do not like beer money after what they've been doing over the past number of weeks as Bobby Roode sends Billy Gunn into the barricade and Road Dogg and James Storm over on the other side. James Storm fighting back though. Beer money's fighting back. And oh my goodness, massive chop there to Road Dogg. As I said, no rules, no count no disqualifications. The only way the match ends is when you uh, climb the ladder and, and grab the, the World Tag Team Championships as DX gets taken out by Beer Money, but wait a minute, they gotta focus inside the ring. This is a big stage. This is a, a, a big fight feel, and I don't think Beer Money was ready for it because inside the ring, the veteran, Bradshaw and Farouk, got the ladder, they're about to steal the titles. Beer Money doesn't even realize that they gotta turn around. They're already climbing the ladder. James Storm and Bobby Roode just realized that they might lose the tag titles right here and now. Farouk is gonna take down the titles, but wait a minute, Beer Money comes in to make the save. Beer Money not gonna let them win the tag titles that easy. Farouk gets dragged off the ladder. And wait a minute, Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode with a power bomb to Bradshaw, and Farouk gets sent to the outside of the ring by James Storm. We're gonna try to keep up with the action as much as we possibly can, ladies and gentlemen. James Storm sends Farouk into the barricade. What's this? Wait a minute. Oh my God, a knee right to the side of the head. 
expect a lot of that here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, we're not we're not wasting any time. James Storm is already rearranging the furniture, not wasting any time whatsoever. But wait a minute, Farouk. Farouk is back up to his feet, and he turns him inside out with the clothesline. Turned him inside out with the clothesline, and just like that, Farouk has taken back control. And look at Farouk. Wait a minute. Fall away slam on the outside of the ring. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. And now Farouk has got the stop sign. He's got a stop sign. James Storm. James Storm. Welcome to WWE, James Storm. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. Beer Money are getting one hell of a welcome to the big stage here at Kane of the Ring. Bradshaw gets sent to the outside of the ring after that massive power bomb. He might be out here. Bobby Roode might look to take advantage, but Farouk inside the ring. Farouk is not gonna let that happen. He saw it all go down. Farouk is climbing the ladder. And do oh, right hand to Bobby Roode. Of course, you can see this massive set above the ring. That is for the first ever Ultimate X match that is coming up very shortly between Christopher Daniels and AJ Styles with a special guest commentator. But ladies and gentlemen, we can't focus on that. These two are battling out and down goes Farouk. Off the ladder, Bobby Roode's gonna do it. Bobby Roode's gonna capture the tag titles, but Billy Gunn, Billy Gunn back in the ring. Billy Gunn back in the ring, trying to keep Bobby Roode from capturing the titles. Bobby Roode doesn't wanna let go, but he's got no choice. And down goes Bobby Roode. It looked like he may have knocked Billy Gunn down there as well with Billy Gunn back up to his feet. Bobby Roode is stirring. Billy Gunn, wait a minute. Famous sir, the famous sir by Billy Gunn. Roode is out. Billy Gunn is in prime position to retain the titles. He's gonna retain the titles. But wait a minute, James Storm. James Storm back in the ring. James Storm back in the ring. Billy Gunn can't unhook the titles at time. And now it's James Storm and Billy Gunn battling it out on top of the ladder. They're trading blows on the top of that ladder, but Road Dog back inside the ring. Road Dog inside the ring. It's a two on one situation. Everybody else is down, and James Storm gets pulled off the ladder. James Storm gets pulled off the ladder. Road Dog lighting up James Storm. Massive elbow to the top of the head. James Storm is in trouble here. Billy Gunn is the lone wolf inside the rain, and oh my God, right into the rain post goes James Storm. Right into the rain post goes James Storm. And where the hell is Road Dog taking him now? Road Dog's got James Storm, and oh my God, they're taking this fight right here to the crowd. Live in Richmond, Virginia. This is breaking down, ladies and gentlemen. I told you it wouldn't take long. I told you it wouldn't take long. These three teams cannot stand each other. Well, it's more like the APA and, and the Outlaws can't stand beer money, but they might be taking the titles. They might be retaining the titles. DX, but no. Bobby Roode in from behind, back up to the, back up to his feet inside the ring. Able to fight off Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn has stays on top of the ladder. Billy Gunn has stays up on, on top of the ladder. This doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. These two staring a hole through each other, battling it out, trading blows on top of this ladder, but they gotta pay attention because inside the ring is the massive Bradshaw. Wait a minute, Bradshaw tips the ladder over with Billy Gunn on it. Bobby Roode got off the ladder at the last possible second, saving himself from utter destruction in a massive clothesline to Bradshaw. Bobby Roode took advantage of the fact that he got off the ladder at the perfect time. Bobby Roode looking for a finish there. Could have been looking for the Roode DDT, but no. Bradshaw reversed it and he turned him inside out. Close line from hell. Close line from hell. What a way to kick off Kane of the Rain. Bobby Roode is out. Bradshaw's the only one left. This is his moment. The APA is gonna walk out of Kane of the Rain. Gonna walk out of Richmond, Virginia with the World Tag Team titles. They're gonna walk out with the World Tag Team titles. Nobody's in the ring to stop them. Bradshaw's got the titles. Bradshaw's got the titles. But wait a minute. Somebody slid in the ring and it's Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn slid in the ring. Saving himself and saving his championship reign. Pulls Bradshaw. Pulls Bradshaw. 
off the ladder. Billy Gunn could have been looking for a famous sir. Bradshaw reversed it and a clothesline from hell, sending Billy Gunn to the outside of the ring. Good God. And now Bradshaw, not done with Billy Gunn, sends him into the steel steps. Bradshaw got, or Billy Gunn, got sent into the steel steps at the hands of Bradshaw. And now Bradshaw and Billy Gunn are taking this fight into the crowd as well. I don't know where the hell Road Dog and James Storm have disappeared too, but Bradshaw and Billy Gunn are in the crowd over here, live in front of these fans in Richmond. Where the hell are they going? Man, this, this match is broken down, ladies and gentlemen, and I don't know where the hell the rest of the uh, participants in this match are. Oh, wait a minute, what the hell? Road Dog and James Storm, where the hell? Oh my God, they're in the, oh my God, I think that's the APA's office. I think that is the office of the APA. Good God Almighty, they're taking over. They brought this fight all the way backstage and into the, yes, you can see. You can see the door in the background. The APA's office and James Storm narrowly avoiding his destruction with that kendo stick. Oh, and a shot right to the back of Road Dog. Oh my God, and James Storm just broke that kendo stick over the ribs of Road Dog. And now, uh-oh, James Storm. He's got some devious intentions. He's got, he's got the, he's got the baseball bat, but Road Dog fought it away in a massive shot to the ribs. Massive shot to the ribs. Ladies and gentlemen, things have broken down here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Road Dog isn't lighting up with that baseball bat off the skull of the cowboy. James Storm is in trouble. I don't know what. What kind of good that ladder's gonna do back here. But nevertheless, Roblox got a fucking ladder and James Storm just got take, just got took out by it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is absolute chaos. And wait a minute, Road Dog, Pop Hando Slam on the ladder. You have got to be kidding me. A pump handle slam on top of the ladder in the backstage area. There is no padding, ladies and gentlemen. These are human beings. And not that James Storm doesn't deserve it, but God damn, that's gotta hurt. And Road Dog is gonna look to put him away here. Road Dog's gonna put him away for good. Down goes James Storm through a table. Road Dog gets payback on James Storm here tonight. And it's beer money that's been attacking DX since Backlash. And here tonight, Road Dog gets some payback on the Cowboy. James Storm is out. And now, up on the stage, we got Bradshaw and Billy Gunn. Road Dog is no doubtedly making his way back in, towards the arena. But, uh oh, Bradshaw. Bradshaw might toss Billy Gunn off the stage. And, oh, okay. I thought Billy Gunn was going to get tossed off the stage there. It did not look good for Billy Gunn. But Bradshaw didn't throw him far enough. And now Bradshaw sending him closer away from the stage, thankfully. Bradshaw measuring his man. Could be looking for a big boot. No. Reversed it. Billy Gunn ducked. Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn. Wait a minute. A famous are on the stage. Good God almighty. A famous are on the stage. Bradshaw's out. Farouk realizes the situation, but he also realizes he's the only one left. He's got an opportunity. He's got to climb the ladder, but he can't waste too much time. Because over on the other side of the ring, Bobby Roode is stirring back up to his feet. Bobby Roode is back up to his feet, but does he have enough time? Does he have enough time? Bobby Roode, Bobby Roode. Back inside the ring, Farouk's got the title, but he's struggling to unhook it. He's struggling to unhook it. And now these two meet on top of the ladder once again, but this time Farouk bounces his head off the steel. These two back and forth, and here comes the champion. He wants to, he wants to save his championship reign here tonight. Billy Gunn making a beeline towards the ringside area as these two just battling it out on top of the ladder. One misstep and these two could be down, but what the hell is Billy Gunn doing? What the hell is Billy Gunn doing? Oh my God. Oh my God. Billy Gunn 
Billy Gunn's got a, a ladder that's draped across the rain apron and the barricade, and, and Bobby Roode got dropped on. Oh, wait a minute, Billy Gunn. Oh, no, 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 no. Billy Gunn's not gonna send Bobby Roode through the, through the ladder on the outside of the ring. I agree with these fans. And now Billy Gunn and Farouk, we can't take too much time to look at what just happened to Bobby Roode. I hope somebody could come out here and help Bobby Roode. But inside the ring, Billy Gunn and Farouk on top of the ladder, going shot for shot, blow for blow, move for move. Who's gonna stand tall? Oh my God, it's it's anybody's ball game at this point. But Road Dog, Road Dog made his way back into the arena. Road Dog made his way back into the arena. And what is Road Dog doing? Get in the ring, help your teammate. I think Road Dog's got some something else in mind here. Road Dog's got something else in mind. Billy Gunn and Farouk trading blows on top of that ladder. But Road Dog is gonna use that distraction to his advantage to try to take down the titles. But Bradshaw, Bradshaw, how the hell is he moving? Bradshaw's back up to his feet. How in the hell is Bradshaw able to get back up to his feet? How is this happening? This match is absolutely insane, ladies and gentlemen. Farouk and Billy Gunn battling it out on top of the ladder. Road Dog trying to grab the title as a distraction, but Bradshaw makes the save. And now these two teams, these two teams trading shots on top of the ladder. Bradshaw, Farouk, Road Dog, Billy Gunn, APA, the Outlaws, who will reign supreme at Kane of the Ring. Oh my God. Farouk and Bradshaw's head just got bounced off the ladder. They're dazed and wait a minute, what the hell is going on here? What the hell is going on here? Wait a minute, no, 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 don't do this. Good God Almighty, and a superplex by Billy Gunn Farouk. Holy <laughs> That's it, this match is over. Road Dog and Billy Gunn are gonna take their time because they got the time. There's nobody left. Everybody's out. The Outlaws retain. All they gotta do is climb the ladder. All they gotta do is grab the titles. This match is over, ladies and gentlemen. This match is over. Oh, wait a minute, what the hell? Who the hell? Who the hell is that? Oh my God, that's, that's X-Pac, what the hell is going on? What? X-Pac just nailed Road Dog with an X-Factor. What is happening? They're on the same, you're on the same team, X-Pac, don't do this. Don't do this, good God almighty. What the hell? What has he done? X-Pac just took out his own teammates. What the hell is going on? We haven't seen X-Pac since he got drafted to SmackDown. You've got to be kidding me. The only man left standing is James Storm. I don't know how he's standing. He made his way all the way back from the APA's office. Bobby Roode is out. Bradshaw is out. Farouk is out. Road Dog is out. Billy Gunn is out. The only man left standing is the Cowboy. You have got to be, you know, you've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. James Storm. James Storm. James Storm has done it. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what the hell just happened. But we have new tag team champions. 
What a way to kick off Kane of the Ring. I don't, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea what we just witnessed. X-Pac just cost his teammates their tag team championships. Look at, the, oh my God, a neck breaker off the top of the ladder to Billy Gunn. I think I saw it on an X-Pac shirt. I think it said Lone Wolf. I, I, we, I gotta know what that means, but ladies and gentlemen, nevertheless, we have new world tag team champions. Beer Money has done it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what that was all about. Seth Rollins talking to the Intercontinental Champion Batista backstage, but ladies and gentlemen, we got our first special guest commentator hopping in the booth is AJ Styles versus Christopher Daniels. And the first ever Ultimate X match. Let's take it over to the official R. Rum. What a start to the King of the Ring event. What a matchup we just saw right there with Beer Money capturing the Raw Tag Team titles. And we move on to our next matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the Double R Rise to Ryan commentating this matchup. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm glad to be commentating as we get ready for our next matchup. An Ultimate X match between the phenomenal AJ Styles and the Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniels. I am excited for this matchup. These two men getting set to go. The Ultimate X is on the line. Here we go, AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels, and it is on. Two of the greatest to ever do it in the ring, going head to head. And if AJ Styles wins this matchup, he is next in line for a WWE title match. But if Christopher Daniels wins, he gets a WWE contract. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, these two men set to go. And I cannot wait, the Ultimate X on the line, big opportunities for both these two men, AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels. It is underway as Christopher Daniels strikes first, but here comes AJ Styles with Christopher Daniels tripping up AJ Styles. And this is a big matchup for both these men. If AJ Styles wins, he is next in line for a WWE title match. But if Christopher Daniels wins, he gets a WWE contract. So a big opportunity for both these men. It will mean something for either one of these two to win this matchup. And here comes AJ Styles. Look at the quickness of AJ Styles. The phenomenal blitz taking down Christopher Daniels. And the crowd loving the start of this matchup. AJ Styles from the second turnbuckle, but no. 
Christopher Dale saw him coming and he moved out the way. AJ Styles missing right there. Irish trip. Christopher Daniels takes down Styles right there. Nice drop kick. And now Christopher Daniels planting AJ Styles face first on the mat. And these two are no stranger to each other. They've known each other for a long time. And it's never a dull moment. Never a bad match between Christopher Daniels and AJ Styles. And look at this. Look at the phenomenal one. AJ Styles. What a move. Forearm hit connects, knocking down Christopher Daniels. And the quickness of these two is just flat out amazing. I mean, it is incredible. These two, especially at their age, look at that German suplex from Styles. At their age, still able to do what they do best. And AJ Styles now throwing the fallen angel Christopher Daniels out of the ring. And here comes AJ Styles getting ready to fly. And he takes out Christopher Daniels to the outside. And the crowd here on their feet as Daniels gets up. AJ Styles from the ring apron takes down Daniels once again. And the crowd is loving what they are seeing. And this has been a start so far between these two as AJ Styles throws Daniels into the announcer's table now into the steel steps. And that X hangs high above the ring. AJ Styles, Daniels is down. AJ Styles going to climb the ropes. And now wait a minute, AJ Styles. I think he missed that. Oh, wait a minute, Christopher Daniels. Oh my goodness, Christopher Daniels out of nowhere. AJ Styles missed the ropes to try to get the X. And Christopher Daniels taking advantage right there. AJ Styles on the corner now, Christopher Daniels. Uh-oh, this time. AJ Styles on the second rope. Look at this. Oh, Christopher Daniels. What a kick. What a drop kick. Right to AJ Styles. And now Christopher Daniels from the ring apron. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Takes out AJ Styles. What a move right there from the fallen angel. And this is Christopher Daniels' time right here. He is in control. Look at this. Blue Thunder Bomb connects. From Christopher Daniels, AJ Styles is down. I think that probably may have been a good moment for Christopher Daniels to try to get the X right there. But Christopher Daniels has something else in mind. Uh-oh, this time, AJ Styles gets tossed out of the ring. And the ladder almost falls, but still hanging on there. But look at this, Christopher Daniels, he's determined. Look at the look at his eyes. Here comes the fallen angel, Christopher Oh, wait a minute, AJ Styles blocked it. AJ Styles hits Christopher Daniels and all oh, for the springboard. A drop kick connects. Wow. What a reversal. What a move from AJ Styles right there as he counters it. Oh, but Christopher Daniels knocks off AJ Styles to the outside. And now, what is Christopher Daniels thinking here? AJ Styles slowly getting back up. Is Daniels going to go flying this time? Can he get it? Can Daniels get it? And he's got it! Christopher Daniels over the top rope, taking out AJ Styles. Wow, that's absolutely impressive. AJ Styles is down, and Daniels looking at the X. Come on, Daniels, go for it. And Christopher Daniels hanging on to the X. Can he get it? Can he unhook the X? And now, what about, oh my goodness, AJ Styles. Counters it. AJ Styles, Chris Perdeo came so close to getting that X, but AJ Styles denies Daniels. Not gonna let that happen. AJ Styles takes out Daniels in the corner. Place him right in the middle of the ring. And now a knee strike right to the face. Man, Chris Daniels coming oh so close to grabbing that X and getting a WWE contract. But AJ Styles denies it. AJ Styles, there's an Irish trip. Christopher Daniels in the corner this time. And AJ Styles, the chops right to Daniels. Now look at this, AJ Styles from the second turnbuckle. Oh, look at that, what a move. Phenomenal one. Back in control, look at this, oh my goodness. Look at that, what a moonsault. AJ Styles, what a moonsault right there. And maybe taking a play out of Christopher Daniels' playbook right there. Now 
Daniels in the corner. AJ Styles again with the chops. And now Sidney Daniels on the top turnbuckle. Oh, wait a minute. But Daniels counters right there. With a kick right to Styles. And now Daniels trying to fight back. And Christopher Daniels, look at this. And he's got AJ Styles and he plants him. Christopher Daniels trying to turn the page. And he got a huge one right there. Now's the tie turn fully to Christopher Daniels. As these two going back and forth. And now AJ Styles, oh, reversing it. And Daniels landing right on his head. AJ Styles now. What does AJ Styles have next in mind? Daniels up to one knee. And here comes AJ Styles. AJ Styles going right after Daniels. Oh, no, wait a minute. Daniels cut Styles. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. What a counter. What a counter for Christopher Daniels. Oh, my goodness. And Christopher Daniels now. Look at this. On his shoulders. Moa drop connects. And Christopher Daniels. Double stomp right to the midsection. And a drop kick. And Daniels with a little bit of trash talk right to AJ Styles. And... Chris for Daniels, what does he have in mind? Daniels is pumped up. AJ Styles doesn't know where he's at. Oh, AJ Styles counters with a kick. And for the springboard, look at this. Oh, AJ Styles. AJ Styles, what a move. And that might have just helped AJ Styles right there. And AJ Styles looking for the phenomenal forearm. And he's got it. The phenomenal forearm connects. Christopher Daniels is down the middle of the ring. But Styles not done yet. And there goes Daniels over the top and to the outside, AJ Styles. Can he get to the X? This is his moment. Christopher Dan what in the world is AJ Styles thinking? What in the world? AJ Styles now up, oh, he's got the X this time. AJ Styles hanging on, can he get it unhooked? But wait a minute, Christopher Daniels back up. And oh, wait a minute, oh my goodness, Christopher Daniels. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, Christopher Daniels taking out AJ Styles right there. That was absolutely incredible. Wow. Christopher Daniels intercepting AJ Styles. He's not going to let AJ Styles get a third title opportunity. But wait a minute, Christopher Daniels went for the best moonsault ever, but I think he missed. He might have missed most of it. He got a little bit. But AJ Styles moved out the way just enough for him to take advantage. And now AJ Styles, this time 450 splash connects. 450 splash from the springboard. And Daniels is down. AJ Styles looking to put away Daniels. Can he do it? And Styles now has that. Wait a minute. Try to go for the Styles clash. But Daniels denies it. And here comes Christopher Daniels knocking down AJ Styles. And look at this. Oh, a drop kick. Look at that. Christopher Daniels on fire. And this crowd is behind these two. I'd say half for Christopher Daniels, half for AJ Styles. Now Christopher Daniels again plants AJ Styles. And which one of these men is going to get their moment, get their opportunity Grab that X. And AJ Styles going over out of the ring. AJ Styles on the outside. Christopher Daniels. Is he looking to go for the X? And he's calling for it. Christopher Daniels this time. And he's on top. And trying to unhook the X. Can he get it this time? He missed it the first time. Can he get it again? Or can he get it this time? Excuse me. Oh, wait a minute. What the world? AJ Styles. AJ Styles this time. Oh my goodness. AJ Styles from out of nowhere. That was absolutely insane. But Styles once again going flying, taking out Christopher Daniels. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, what a matchup. And we are witnessing right here. I don't know if either one of these two men who is going to win this matchup? Neither one of these two men is going to quit. Now AJ Styles wiping off the announcer's table. This may not be good. Christopher Daniels 
on the announcer's table. Oh, but oh, Daniels elbow shot denies AJ Styles. And now this time, Christopher Daniels has AJ Styles set. And look at this. What is Christopher Daniels thinking here? Oh my goodness. Styles not in a good spot. What is Christopher Daniels thinking here? AJ Styles sit it down. Oh my goodness, Christopher Daniels. Best moonsault ever from the top turbuckle. Oh my goodness. What in the world? The best moonsault ever from the top turnbuckle takes out AJ Styles on the announcer's table and Styles is down. Christopher Daniels looking to call for it. Can he get the X on hook? Now wait a minute. AJ Styles is back up to his feet. How is AJ Styles back from his two feet? Wait a minute. AJ Styles. Styles clash connect. He caught Daniels with the Styles clash. Oh my goodness, what a Styles clash. And Daniels is out. And AJ Styles this time looking to take advantage. Can AJ Styles get his moment? Will he be next to mine for a WWE title opportunity? And he's got it. Climbing the ropes. And uh, does he have the X? Can he get it unhooked? Does he have it? What? Hold on just a minute, what in the world? What the heck was that? Oh my god, wait a minute. Who in the who in the world is that? Oh my god, wait a minute! Oh my goodness! That masked man just attacked AJ Styles. What in the world? Who? What in the world is going on? Who is behind that mask? Who is that? Christopher Daniels back up to his feet. What in the world is going on here? Daniels enters back in the ring. What the heck is this? Wait a minute. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? It's Kaz. Frankie Kazarian. Kaz is behind the mask. What in the world is this? Kaz attacking AJ Styles now. What in the world is this? My goodness, you gotta be kidding me. This is unbelievable. Kaz choking out AJ Styles. This is unbelievable. AJ Styles was about to have the match won. But Frankie Kazarian behind the mask attacks AJ Styles and helping his best friend, Christopher Daniels. And this is unbelievable, look at this. Christopher Daniels now, uh-oh. Angel's wings connects. The Angel's wings connects. And Christopher Daniels now at the second turnbuckle. And now Kaz picking Styles back up. And they got the table set. Oh, come on now. And Frankie Kazarian has AJ Styles on the table. Christopher Daniels. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Best boots on ever through the table. My goodness. AJ Styles is out. This is unbelievable. Daniels and Kazarian. Teaming up to take out AJ Styles. This is completely uncalled for. Come on, not like this. And AJ Styles out on the outside. Christopher Daniels has the X. Can he get it unhooked this time? Will he get it? And Christopher Daniels, and he's got the X. Kaz looking on. To his best friend as Christopher Daniels has unhooked the X and Christopher Daniels has a WWE contract. Wow, I cannot believe what we just witnessed right there. Wow, the events that have unfolded here at King of the Ring. Kaz behind the mask to help Christopher Daniels win.
this matchup. My goodness. I am in complete shock. Daniels and Cass celebrating together as Christopher Daniels has been signed and gets a WWE contract. X Pac, wait. Can I get a comment on what just happened earlier tonight? Do you have anything to say after turning your back on Road Dog and Billy Gunn? I turned my back on them? Really? Is that what you think? No. They turned their back on me when they let me get drafted to SmackDown. They turned their back on me, just like NWO did back in the day. And just like Triple H did when I first came back to WWE. Well, screw them. All they ever did was hold me down anyway. I was always held down because of the power-hungry bastards that I let lead me. Well, no more. I am the lone wolf, and it's time for me to hunt. Oh, what a strong message there by X-Pac, and what a match that we just witnessed between AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels. I still cannot believe that Frankie Kazarian is here in the WWE. But ladies and gentlemen, we got to switch gears over to Monday Night Raw because it is time for the World Heavyweight Championship match. Randy Orton, and the man that defeated his former mentor inside Hell in a Cell of Bad Blood, gets the opportunity of a lifetime. Let's kick it over to Wrestle Plus. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how we can possibly counter after the one hell of an ultimate X bout. But ladies and gentlemen, my name is Plus, and we are officially ahead for your World Heavyweight Championship match. A man who went from underdog to the dog. A man who went from being student to his own teacher. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the man himself, the Viper. Randy Orton and tonight he is in for the fight of his life as he is going to be taking on the ultimate opportunist in the Rated R Superstar Edge. This has been one hell of an event and one hell of an event will follow after this ladies and gentlemen but what we need to focus on is the big goal, the main goal, the goal that matters and that is the World Heavyweight Championship. So much has gone into this, so much thought by the Viper Randy Orton from being somebody who was under the thumb of Triple H, Batista, Ric Flair for the longest, but going in that ongoing war, being stuck in that loop, but finally, after getting his said revenge, he, he is a man that is looking at a brighter path, a path that is looking to be created with World Heavyweight Championship implications. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, Tonight, Orton has an opportunity of a lifetime, an opportunity that doesn't come every day for every superstar. So when it does come, you want to make sure you capitalize. You want to make sure that that opportunity is the opportunity. Randy Orton is a man known to make opportunities last a lifetime. The big question is, will he be able to do that tonight? They just called himself a legend in the past and tonight ladies and gentlemen we have been looking over the last couple of months of the the ongoing creation but tonight tonight is where we can see that legend killer be put in full effect as randy orton is ready for the world's heavyweight champion and the champion follows and although the wwe universe isn't the biggest fans they respect the grind and oh man oh man listen to this Listen to this crowd, ladies and gentlemen. The respect in the mind is definitely in the back of our minds because all that we are hearing tonight is booze from the WWE Universe as the champion comes out as cocky as ever. I mean, look at this man. Look at this man as cocky as ever. He doesn't give a damn. He is here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to do any and everything that he could possibly do to keep that championship around his waist. He doesn't take things very serious here in Universe Mode. We know Edge is the ultimate opportunist, but when he's in his matches, we also know that he is a man who is, you know, not the, uh, not the best at playing fair in the ring, let's be honest. But the one situation that makes this match all the most different than his last title defense is there's no lead at ringside, ladies and gentlemen. This matchup is going to be one on one. All I gotta say, hey, maybe it was the best for Lita to not come out because when you're going against a man like Randy Orton, if you're standing in his way, you will fall to the Viper. As both men see the opportunity that is before them, an opportunity 
to become great all over again. An opportunity for the World Championship. For this, this can be another night for Edge, but for Randy Orton, for Randy Orton, ladies and gentlemen, this is a fight of his life, and you see, you see the mind games already being put on display by Edge there, but Orton not playing any games here tonight. The mind games by Edge will continue throughout the night, but Orton is here for one reason, and one reason only, and that is to give absolutely carnage, absolutely vengeance to Edge. I mean, come on, imagine if we can see a new World Heavyweight Champion here tonight. Beautiful uppercut there by Randy Orton. I mean, just look at the, uh, the athleticism by Randy Orton, the physique by Randy Orton. This, ladies and gentlemen, is prime Orton Orton in a stage of his career that we have yet to see him in tonight. Tonight is when the cherry can get put on top and he can win that world title. Look at us now, beautiful Irish whip catching him there. And once again with the uppercuts, heavily relying on those uppercuts there. And oh, going for the knee, but Edge moving out of the way. Beautifully done by the world title champion. The champion now kicks off Randy Orton as these two men, if you know, if this matchup does continue the way it's starting off here and these two men just get their hands on each other and it is nothing but physicalness. I mean, this is what we expected, you know, when Edge, when that opportunity doesn't arrive for him to sly and cheat, he's definitely going to fight his ass off because at the end of the day, keeping that world championship around his waist is all that matters. But look at this now, Edge now starting us off with something big here. Boom, Bulldog off the second rope. Beautifully done there by the world's heavyweight champion, the rated R superstar Edge and another Beautiful elbow drop right there by Edge. Not playing any games with Randy Orton here tonight, but Orton has had, over the last couple of months, he's had Triple H's number, he's had Batista's number, he's had Ric Flair's number. Tonight, tonight can he have Edge's number? This is a different kind of ball game than what he's used to. The, oh, beautiful suplex there by, or by Randy Orton, excuse me, but you know the men that Randy Orton's been going against over the last couple of months, you know, it, it's been guys he's been very used to. This is something different. Beautiful suplex there, hooking the legs, locking them down there, shoulders to the back, no! Edge getting a beautiful kick out there. And like I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, this is a edge that is completely different than how he's been when he's faced men in the past. This is a focus as an, an edge that is world champion and looking to keep up that championship. Golden, look at that! Beautifully done there by Edge, looking to put it away here tonight at King of the Ring, and no! Oh man, oh man, Orton thinking twice about that. His edge, of course, is cocky as ever. Every time we see him inside the square circle, he is as cocky as ever. But Randy Orton looking to shake off the cobwebs. And oh, Orton getting sent right back down to the outside by the Rated R Superstar as Edge going to the top rope. Is it looking like high risk, high reward? Will the reward follow through as the referees on the count of four? It does. Missile drop kick off the top row, beautifully done there by the Rated R. And look at that now, looking to bring this and make this a bit more physical tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as, and oh, Randy Orton is in a bit of trouble here tonight. It was Orton who was playing more offense throughout the match in the beginning, and now it's Edge. Edge seemingly in the position of his career, a prime position as Edge now, once again using that barricade to his, you know, to his, Benefit and now looking to bring Randy Orton back inside the ring, you know, very different here by Edge tonight Looking to bring all the momentum all the heat to Randy Orton as usually You know Edge would have took a count out victory in the past, but once again another missile drop kick there by Edge I mean come on now was this opportunity an opportunity wasted by the Raider Ardo Oh man, oh man, Orton, Orton seemingly finding a way to stay alive, you know, kicked out with a lot of effort behind him. I think right now what Edge is doing this rapid pace, it just came at Orton at all fronts and maybe knocked him down there, but it seems like Orton's ready for a comeback here tonight as Orton now following through, but Edge says no. Great ring awareness by the champion, ring awareness, IQ on point tonight, and no. Orton finding a way to kick out. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, that is a veteran in the making maneuvers right there that we are seeing by the World Heavyweight Champion here tonight. But as I say that, I might eat my words here as Randy Orton with a boo. Backbreaker into the clothesline, just clubbing the back of the head. You gotta think that that's gonna do more damage even coming out of King of the Ring here tonight. And Orton, Orton looking to make Edge pay, looking to make him hurt for everything that he was doing to him all throughout the matchup. And you can't blame him, ladies and gentlemen. Randy Orton. A straight viper in the grass, and tonight, tonight he's looking to creep up and bite on Edge, and no, Edge looking to find a way to get out of it, seemingly doing that, and now look at this, Edge, Edge looking for his comeback here tonight, is he going to be able to follow through as Orton says no, bit of a receipt for Edge there tonight, and oh, beautifully done there by the viper himself, and now, wait a minute, Orton could be stalking, stalking the world champion as he's setting up for that picture perfect DDT and the crowd wants it, Orton wants it, and Orton gets it. 
Oh man, oh man, this, this right here, ladies and gentlemen, that little smirk on Randy Orton's face, this is exactly where he likes to be. This is where you see that Viper creep and dominate. And now look at this RKO, but oh, Edge. Edge getting the reversal. Once again, Edge looking for his own comp. Is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get it? And this time he does. Edge now looking to line up Randy Orton for what could be the beginning of the end. Now lining up Orton this time, this time. Beautifully done into the cover. Is this gonna be it here tonight to retain the title? No! Orton understands this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Orton understands that this is an opportunity that doesn't come every night. But Edge now looking to make this one, looking to turn it up. Spear but missed. The champion missed. Orton had it well scouted. The crowd, the crowd is off their feet, ladies and gentlemen, because they know, they know this, this could be Orton's night. This could be the night that Edge loses the championship. And look at that. As Orton slowing the pace down for himself, but keeping up the heat for Edge here tonight. As Randy Orton, for the first time in a very long time, we haven't been able to say this. But it seems like somebody has this man's number. And look at that crossbody beautifully done into the cover. Is he gonna be able to do it? One, two, come on, ref, no! Wow, wow, wow. I mean, we knew these two men were gonna bring the heat tonight. We knew they were gonna bring the heat, but look at that! Beautiful exploder suplex there. Orin having edge in his limelight. Orton, Orton, if you see what Orton's doing right now, it's typical whenever you're in match. He's stalking, and now he is starting to pull at the ligaments of his opponent, looking to make every stop, not just any stop, but the stop, as you see with every kick. So much passion, so much anger, but with one goal in the back of his mind, and that is the Viper wearing the World Heavyweight Championship. With every battle, with every match that Randy Orton goes into, you see, it wears on his face. The voices being heard in his head are ringing true all throughout tonight. And it seems like, oh, what the hell? It seems like the voices of the past. Let's look at this. Indian Deathlock locked in. Nowhere for the champion to go. You see the current and, and, and old battles of, of the game. The old battles of the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, ringing true in the head of Randy Orton. But Edge, Edge finding a way to get out of it. Now, wait a minute, lining him up, lining him up. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Oh! Execution! Beautiful work by the world's heavyweight champion here tonight capitalizing out of that Indian Deathlock or in at the crowd off their feet, but now doing things that the Viper doesn't do very often. High risk, high reward. But look at this, the champion making him eat his words. And look, oh, taking him down off the ropes. What the hell are we seeing? I mean, this is absolutely beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. The, the match that is being put on display here tonight by these two men, power bomb. Two, no! Edge has got to be thinking to himself, what the hell do I got to do to put this man away? As the Viper sees the one opportunity in his eyes and oh, drop kick by Edge. This might be the point. This might be the point where the champion dials in, ladies and gentlemen, and the challenger folds like every challenger does in the past. The electric chair position. Beautiful, beautiful work. Oh my goodness, as look at this, Edge now calling up Randy Orton, but as the Viper gets up to a feet, he's feeling all the momentum behind him, as he is not laying down for Edge, the world champion has been too cocky all throughout the match, and Randy Orton is not laying down for it, and now, now doing some things, doing some maneuvers a bit Orton-like, and that is going for those death stomps there, not allowing Edge to get up after him, and now the Viper is in prime position to do whatever the Viper wants to do now. RKO, Edge says no. Orton doesn't know where he's at or what's going on, but Edge, Edge fighting back. Edge now beautifully done. Edge with the neck breaker, ladies and gentlemen. This right here, 
This can be all she wrote. This can be where Edge locks it in. But Randy Orton, as he gets Irish Whip right into the corner. Oh! Big punch by Edge. Orton doesn't know where he's at. Spear, but reversed. Reversal spear by the Viper. Randy Orton says no. Orton might be the man to have Edge's number. Look at this now, Orton Irish Whip. What the hell can Orton be thinking here? Big Nature Boy slaps to the chest there as Orton. Orin all throughout the matchup, first with the Indian Deathlock, now with the slaps to the chest, showing all too well. Look at that! Inverted RKO off the top rope, new champion, no! This is awesome indeed! It has me off the edge of my seat! I don't even know who's gonna win! We can only get one winner! Orin, Orin has Edge exactly where he wants him, exactly where he needs him, but no, hey, my word, zero is Edge. Edge bringing the legs up there, now looking to go for the cover here, quick cover here by Edge, Edge is going to be able to put away the chair, oh, wait a minute, is he going to do it? No! Orin, wait a minute, Orin getting a little fancy with this one here tonight, is Orin now going for a bit of a cover of his own, is he going to be able to get it? Oh my god. The champion, the champion's got to be showing off at this point. Look at this now, into the cover, is Edge going to do it? No! Both men showing off the athleticism. Edge goes for a big punch. Orton says no. Orton brings his ass right back into the corner. And the last time Edge was in this corner, we seen that inverted RKO. What is he gonna do now? And wait a minute, no. Kicks him off there as Orton standing, thinking to himself, a spear off the second rope. Into the cover! No! The Viper stays alive! How the hell is he finding this? How the hell is, where is he getting this from? Look at it, oh, caught him, RKO! It's over, it's over! One, two, no! We thought we were gonna see a new champion! A new champion was almost on the cusp! Edge, as cocky as he is, he is too damn good for his own good! Look at this! Orin no, Orin looking to line up Edge, looking to continue the momentum, and I ain't my words there as Edge, couldn't get it the first time, looks to get it, gets the this time, Spear! Spear through the second ropes by the rated R Superstar! This is awesome indeed! Oh man, oh man, Edge thinking to himself like everybody else, there's no possible way. I mean, come on, what the hell? There's no way. There is absolutely no way we are being able to witness a match like this. Randy Orton in for the fight of his life, and as he gets up to his feet, Edge for another spear. Thinks through, ducks through, shades, shades of bad blood, Orton catches the bell, RKO! Shades of bad blood! We thought we were gonna get the spear, but Orin said no! Orin said no, but Edge kicks! How does he do it? Edge is a champion unlike any other to be able to survive a bite from the Viper! Look at this! Orin says no though! Orin now! Orin now! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Get in that figure four locked in, baby! Yes, and this! This is what we wanted to see, those shades of Orton's past being brought in this big testament here tonight to see if he was going to become world champion. And you see, but wait a minute, wait a minute, Edge, Edge not allowing it, Edge not allowing it, what the hell, Edge, Edge, Edge reversing it into his submission, how, how, what the hell, Edge, Edge, this is a man, a talent, unlike any other, I mean, come on. The figure four was locked in. The legs, it didn't seem like they were too locked in because Edge was able to get out of it. Edge just able to position himself just a little differently than he was previously. And that, ladies and gentlemen, made all the difference. Just showing you, just showing you that when you have a teacher like Ric Flair, it doesn't truly teach you every single thing. Backbreaker off the top rope, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the end game. Here we go, RKO, no. Thought it was gonna be a big RKO, but oh! You gotta be kidding me. What? You have got to be kidding me. 
18 minutes of these two men killing each other just for Edge to be the scum that he is. To be the scum that he is. I said before that Edge fights, but Edge isn't a fighter. Edge is not a fighter. He does things like this, which makes him a coward. Edge. Edge was about to go down as one of the greatest. As one of the greatest if he was able to beat Orton, but not lining him up for a spear. Just adding insult. Adding insult to what could be an injury. Look at that. I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, who the hell does this guy think he is? This match just went the distance. This match has the potential to be match of the night, match of the year for this universe mode. For every universe mode. And who costed that? It was Edge who costed that. And now with a tail in hand. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we were asking who can stop the momentum of Randy Orton. I think we found his match. We gotta get a, we gotta get some medics out here. Something, something. We can't leave Orton like this. I mean, come on. This is disgusting. I mean, come on. This is supposed to be our world champion here. The guy who is the locker room leader. The guy who everybody looks to. But he just did the same thing that he always does. And that is find a way out. I mean, talk about the ultimate opportunist. Oh, 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 wait a minute. It's been a while since we've heard that. Holy shit, that's the Punk. Punk is back. Punk is back and he's coming at the edge. Oh man, oh man, we know that these two men have some former bad blood, but now Punk is coming back and he wants, he wants the Raider R. And look at this, up, up, and down he goes. GTS by CM Punk. Somebody had to put a stop to Edge. Can it be this man? Can it be the Messiah? CM Punk. Wow, what a match that we just witnessed between Randy Orton and Edge and the massive return of CM Punk, the former world champion. But ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we got the SmackDown Tag Team Gauntlet match with the tag titles on the line. But first, we're going to take things backstage where Beth Phoenix is waiting to be interviewed. Beth, first of all, congratulations on reaching the finals of the inaugural Queen of the Ring tournament. How does it feel to be on the verge of such a monumental opportunity in your WWE career? Thank you. It's truly a surreal moment for me. This is what I've worked for my entire career, and to have the chance to make history, it's both thrilling and humbling. Trish Stratus, a WWE legend, stands between you and the Queen of the Ring crown. How do you approach facing someone with such an iconic legacy in the women's division? Trish is a legend, no doubt about it, but legends are there to be challenged. I have the utmost respect for Trish and what she's accomplished, but this is my time to prove that the Glamazon is a force to be reckoned with. We know Trish Stratus is closely aligned with Gail Kim. How does that dynamic play into your mindset, knowing that alliances might come into play in the finals? Look, Trish and Gail have their connection, I know that. But Gail has seen what happens when she gets involved in my business. It never ends well for her. And besides, when that bell rings, it's about me and Trish, one-on-one. -on -one. If Gail thinks she can play a role, she's welcome to try. She'll be in for a rude awakening. Winning the Queen of the Ring means making history. How much does this opportunity mean to you on a personal level? And how do you plan to seize the moment in the finals? It means everything to me. This is the culmination of years of hard work, sacrifices, and dedication. I plan to seize the moment by giving everything I have in that ring, leaving no doubt that Beth Phoenix is the rightful queen of the ring. And whether it's against China or Lita, I will do the exact same thing at SummerSlam and walk out with the women's championship. Thank you for your time, Beth. Now let's pass the mic off to JNW Boss at ringside for what is set to be an action-packed tag team gauntlet match. Take it away, JNW. Well, what is up? It's your boy JNW Boss in the building here to call the gauntlet match 
for the WWE Tag Team Championships and entering team number one is the Hooligans, the team of Paul London and Brian Kendrick. The question I have if you are London and Kendrick, you're probably one of the smallest teams in this matchup. So how well is your speed going to pay off for you? How well is your durability going to pay off for you? And especially, I feel like even starting up again. Oh boy. Oh man, okay. Well, I think if you ask me, it's only fitting that the team that wanted this gauntlet match is the team that's kicking this matchup off. Big Show and A Train won the Tag Team Championship back at Judgment Day in a fatal four way. And then at Vengeance, retained against Los Guerrero. And so now, A Train and Big Show, they felt like they were getting disrespected. They told Brent to, to line them up and they were going to knock them down. Well, we have a great chance to do it, gentlemen. You're starting this matchup. You got to get through five teams, and one of them is kind of incomplete right now. And then the Guerrero still trying to figure out who the heck he's teaming with. And then again, he may have figured it out for all we know, so I don't know. That's a whole different story. And after the matchup gets something away, I would like to say thank you, Dylan, to him once again. Let me uh, do my thing here for inviting me out here to King of the Ring. Call this gauntlet matchup. Oh, man. And this is J.W. Boss. Pleasure to beat y'all quick. And I don't think Paul London uh, probably wish he hadn't met the A-Train right now. And A-Train is physically dominating Paul London, the running power slam. Down go Paul London and a kick out at two on the part of Paul. A-Train getting frustrated. But I will say the fact that you got a two count this early on shows how powerful these men are. The fact that A-Train was able to get a two count shows how effective their power game can be in a mat like this. And A-Train soaking it in and while he's soaking in his accomplishment. Paul London was about to go over there and make the tag. But A-Train putting a stop to that. Over to the corner go Paul London. Great right hand. Great hand again, Paul London. And in the wrong corner. And now we got the world largest athlete to do that, the big show. With that 5 e boot right to the rim and then just caught him right in the face with one. Elbow drop. I mean, I'm talking, I mean, we're going to talk about the side difference between London and Kendrick and, and show train here. Getting hit with an elbow like that. That, 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 that got to knock the wind out of you for certain. And in a gauntlet match. Of course, oh, wait a second. I was about to say you want to avoid taking as much damage as possible. And excellent evasive maneuver on the part of London. Now trying to follow him and put them off and two drop kicks. Got Big Show leaning against the rope here. And now going to use the rope as a weapon. Yanking on the arm and then the neck of the Big Show. And then, of course, it's going to take a lot more than that to really wear down. Oh, man, to wear down the Big Show. And Paul London just got a straight right hand right to the face. And Show Train is rolling. Kendrick is looking to get that tag as soon as possible because Paul London is in a desperate situation of needing to make one. But he's about to get, never mind, I thought he was about to get hit with that choke slam. But Paul London was able to counter with the elbow. The drop kick and then the hurricane rider putting out the big show. This is his moment. This is his moment to capitalize. But Paul London. Now trying to wear out the Big Show even more, using the striking game to an advantage. That drop kick sending Big Show into the corner. And here comes, here comes Brian Kendrick with a shot to the midsection. Brian Kendrick now, look at that with the DDT. DDT dropping the Big Show right on his skull, trying to charge that A-Train, not the best way to go. And oh goodness, Big Show has made it back to his feet. Going for some type of back suplex there, but 
Kendrick with it with a backflip out of it. Look at that. To the floor goes the Big Show. Hurricane Rana. Excellent work there by Brian Kendrick. He got the Big Show down. And the referee is now counting. Kendrick has effectively taken down the Big Show. Big Show trying to get back in the ring, but that shoulder tackle. Bending down the Big Show and a train. Kendrick is playing defense here. Look at this, the drop kick bending the Big Show down again. Referee the count of seven. Big Joe trying to get back in the ring, but Kendrick is not allowing it. Kendrick, plus head IQ on the part of Brian Kendrick. And that's it. Look, London and Kendrick have successfully eliminated Show Train from this match. We're going to have new tag team champion, and the Big Joe is furious. Great awareness on the part of Brian Kendrick and Big and Kendrick turned his back. No, 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 come on. No, come on. Now Big Show and then Kendrick crashed into the floor. This is freaking ridiculous. And now A Train dragging out Paul London. We're actually gonna have new tag team champ. Oh no, 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 the derailer. The derailer putting down Paul London. And now the choke slam putting out Brian Kendrick. Big Show and A-Train brought this on themselves. They were sitting there so confident about being so dominant in the tagging division. And they are the first team out of it. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, gentlemen, no. No, 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 come on. No, the double choke slam through both the now table before moving. Big Joe and Adrian are nothing but sore losers. All this talk, all this jaw jacking, and they're the first team out and they can't stand it. We need some help for London and Kendrick, but this matchup has no choice but to continue. And the crowd here letting them know what they feel of them, and I'm in a full agreement with that. Oh, absolutely absurd. Here come these two pumping Goose and Eminem. There's Joey Mercury and Johnny Nitro, and they're probably loving the theme that they just, probably loving the theme. They know good and well that London and Kendra, there's no way uh, they're going to be able to survive this. It'll take a miracle for one of the kids to survive it after what we just saw. And so Eminem, not wasting any time, or actually, no, they're taking all the time in the world, I should say, to get down to this ring because they... Come on, man. Oh, I get it. Paul Lund is still laid out. Kendra is still laid out. This is... This is just wrong. Bell ring. Nitro, they're going to pin the man. This is it. Eminem win. And we need to get the medical attention out here for London and Kendrick. But if Eminem moved forward in this gauntlet, they is the team that are probably going to really Put them to their, push them to their paces here. Here comes Team High Rip. Jeff Hardy and RVD. They teamed up back at Vengeance. Defeated the Manitou and Shannon Moore and, and Gregory Helm. And unfortunately for Jeff Hardy, he recently lost to Chris Benoit in a King of the Ring tournament matchup. But what a great way for Team High Risk to rebound. Not only, well, to rebound and win the tag team title, I should say. I was about to say something about King of the Ring, but unfortunately neither of these guys are in it. 
but last, they still got a great opportunity here at King of the Ring to become the tag team champion, but first, they got to get through m and which is, I will admit, a bunch of our lightning guys or a bunch of, bunch of loud mouth cocky punk that these guys are, I'll, I'll, I'll admit, they're tough. They're for certain tough. And here comes Nitro and RVD starting this one off, and RVD getting Nitro educated real quick with these kicks here. There are probably very few men that that an end of math are going to be able to go strike for strike with RVD. That is for certain. And then we still got two more teams remaining. We still got Team Mattitude. And then we still got Eddie Guerrero and whoever he decides to roll with as his partner. Oh, man. And look at this. RVD off the road right into a drop kick. That will mess up the Hollywood good look of Johnny Nitro. I'm, cer I'm certain these two ran their mouth all week long about what it would mean for Eminem to win the tag team championship and what it would mean for Hollywood and all the little goofy connection. I'm sure they've done all of that stuff. The question is, can they do it? They beat London and Kendrick. They beat the hooligans after. Oh! That's some double knees right there, but they beat. The hooligans off of the absolute destruction of show train out here. And so now we're going to see how they stack up against high risk. Off the rope goes RVD right to a double shoulder tackle by Mercury and Nitro. Jo Joey Mercury is in the ring now. And he's wearing out RVD. Excellent elbow drop, keeping RVD grounded. And you might want to keep RVD grounded because. Once he gets to his feet, man, he got his striking capabilities. He got his high flying capabilities. And what did I just say? What did I just say? Keep RVD grounded. But of course, Joey Mercury is going to take all that time, all the time in the world to show off and let everybody know how good he looks. Call me unprofessional for saying that. But I hope the day is coming where Eminem gets a freaking keep knocked down the throat. And that's just me. And look at this RVD. Look at that. Oh, man. That roll and fall flash right there. Oh, the variation of his rolling thunder. Is he gonna have Joey Mercury beat here? No, he does not. Now RVD got Mercury in trouble here. That striking game, I'm telling you, dangerous work on the part of RVD. Can Mercury figure out a way to, to get out of this one? If you get caught up with stuff like that, that's not gonna do you any good. And then Mercury off into the corner. Got to go for something there. Mercury counters. Trying to make a shot at Jeff. Not the wildest move in the world. They're already making Mercury pay for that. And look at it. He might have him beat here. <clears throat> and almost a crucifix pin there. Unable to get the job done. And now Jeff, look at that. Already trying to follow up. On Joey Mercury, but Joey Mercury is him being a skillful man that he is, I will admit. He's a skillful, skillful man that he is able to fight back and get RVD into his corner. And that went raw body right there. And look at that, Joey Mercury. Oh, a bit of athleticism in an all right. All right, I'll, I'm impressed, I'm impressed. Starting to recover here. He might have RVD beaten, though it is not. The frustration kicking in on the part of Mercury. But the impressive as that was. Mercury thought he was going to beat RV, some of the likes of RVD like that. He is sadly, sadly mistaken. RVD now sent into the corner. Tag is made. More double team offense from Eminem here. Order tackle again. RVD is in trouble. Here in this one. Leg drop there by Nitro. RVD, the thin duck here, just got caught with a knee right to the jaw by. By Nitro with the springboard moonsault using the top rope for maximum elevation, but he was unable to get the maximum result, which was a win in this gauntlet match. And then the question is, who the heck is going to be next? After oh wait a second, that's going to boot to the face by by RVD. Oh, here we go, RVD starting to fire back. 
RVD looking to do something. Oh, came right to the jaw. Now the man goes off the rope, rolling thunder. Using Nitro and the Revenant crash pad and now going up top. Maybe thinking about that five-star frog class and he does. Nailed it. Nailed it perfectly. Straight into a cover. Mercury jumping in. Jeff Hardy sending Mercury to the outside. Playing great defense and team high risk advancing the next one. Excellent work by Team High Risk, and now the question is, who is, oh, well, 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 I got my answer, I got my answer, who's next? I got my answer, it is freaking Gregory Helm and Shannon Moore. He mattered to jumping, jumping Jeff Hardy and RVD, and Team Mattered to sees this as a golden way to get some revenge from vengeance. Gregory Helm starting this thing off, and RVD is in trouble here. And I gotta admit, Team Mattitude, they're a good team. They know what they're doing. Gregory Allen is a tremendous wrestler to the long right. Same goal for Shannon Moore. Yeah, my issue with Team Mattitude is they follow that goop Matt Hardy. Oh, wait a second. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, wow. A combination, that leg drop, black combination from Team Attitude. Is it going to get them to win here? No, it doesn't. Boy, the group Matt Hardy in for how much? Team Attitude is freaking irritating. They came out here with a game plan. They came out here with a mission. The goal was to weaken RVD or whoever, RVD and Jeff Hardy or whoever won that matchup. And start out with a major advantage. And because of them doing that, they may leave here. At least the victor in this matchup. And with one more team remaining, I'm in the process of elimination here, but with, with one more team remaining, who's going to face Eddie Guerrero and whoever the heck and his partner's going to be? RVD. Able to counter Shannon Moore, whatever he was going for, and RVD with a massive DDT off the middle rope, stunning. Shannon Moore. That's going to kick there by RVD. Look at it. Oh, man. Close line. And it's Shannon Moore to the outside. RVD looking like he's, he's leveling. Shannon Moore here. Now oh, look at that. Gregory Helm pulling down the rope. I mean, they ain't got it all. You kind of can't get mad at the dude. That was great ring, ring awareness. Being aware of your opponent. But RVD not letting that one fly whatsoever. Making Gregory Helm pay for his involvement in this one. The Russian legs, we run into the barricade. And RVD looking to resume his attack on Shannon Moore. Probably just making sure. Ah, oh, there's Shannon Moore. There's Shannon Moore. I was just about to say, looking to resume his attack. But all that did on the part of Gregory Helm was allow time for Shannon Moore to recover. And recovered he did. RVD by first right into the corner there. Oh, what a drop kick by, by Shannon Moore. Down goes RVD. This is not a good look for RVD. RVD is in trouble. Jeff is still laid out here. Look at this. Oh, that blockbuster. Excellent blockbuster by Shannon Moore. This could be his. Mattitude advances. No, it does not. Jeff Hardy finally able to make it back to his feet. And he's back in this one. Here comes Gregory Helm now. Look at this, trying to take a shot at Jeff. Jeff not letting it slide. And look at this, Jeff Hardy taking out Gregory Helm. But Shannon Moore still got RVD by his lonesome. Oh, excellent counter there by Rob of the forearm. RVD now. We're back to that striking game. It worked against them and them. How are they going to fare against Mr. Shannon Moore, who now gets sent to the outside? And RVD feels that he got a little bit of unfinished business with Shannon Moore, the suicide dive. Shannon Moore went crashing into the barricade. And Shannon Moore now is in trouble at the hand of RVD. Oh, here we go. 
And I think we're about to see a little bit of vintage RVD. Safe to say. Drive here on their feet for it. What a leg drop across the barricade. RVD putting his body at risk. He'll take down Shannon Moore. Jeff Hardy's back on the apron. RVD looking to close it. What a five star. Strong flash. Taken down. This Shannon Moore. Gregory Helms though. It made it back to his feet. Wait a second. There's Christian. There's Christian with the unprettier. The unprettier to Gregory Helms. Christian has had an issue with team attitude. Ever since Gregory Hill specifically called Christian the United States title at Benjamin. And Christian returning the favor here tonight. As it looks like off this one ton bomb. After taking a frost flash, Team High Risk wins this one. I gotta say, Team High Risk kind of owes Christian a bit of a thank you card. And here comes Eddie Guerrero. And he made his, oh, well, give him a chance right now. Well, Eddie, who's it gonna be? Me or him? It's gonna be Eddie. I mean, the match is right now. Nehemiah Rick is in anticipation. Here comes Eddie Guerrero. I mean, Army, I mean, Ray Mysterio and Chava Guerrero have been begging him for weeks. And oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, Eddie has shown him his partner, and his partner is Ray. Mysterio. Well, I mean, Ray Mysterio was telling Eddie a couple of weeks ago on SmackDown that he doesn't want to stop Eddie Guerrero from reaching his goal and doing everything that he wants to achieve in WWE. Well, I think Eddie feels that with Ray, he can accomplish at least some of his goals. And tonight, the goal looked to be Becoming the WWE Tag Team Champion, or the new WWE Tag Team Champion, as I should say, because Show Train got eliminated out here by Brian Kendrick and Paul London. With left of them getting destroyed and Eminem taking full advantage. And then Team High Risk was able to not only beat Eminem, but they just beat Mattitude, admittedly, due to the uh, little bit of assistance from Christian. And now the question is. Who's gonna leave here? Who's gonna leave King of the Ring? The WWE Tag Team Champion. It is down to these two teams. Is it gonna be Team High Risk or Team Eddie and Rey Mysterio? Let's find out. Rey Mysterio, or I'm sorry, Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> And Jeff Hardy starting this one off. This should be exciting. But I also got a question. How well is the health of RVD and Jeff Hardy? I mean, we saw them have to battle Eminem out here. We saw Mattitude kind of do the best that they can. But now they got to face the likes of Eddie Guerrero. And now we're material. And also the fact that they were unprepared. But who was gonna be? They knew Eddie was gonna be in this match. But now you almost gotta adjust your game plan on the fly here, because I don't know, the part of them were probably thinking Chavo, that Eddie was gonna roll with Chavo. But who knows? Look at this, ooh, man. Now Ray Mysterio is in this matchup. So we're gonna see if high risk can adjust. Are they gonna adjust their strategy to these guys? Or is it going to be Eddie and Ray walking out of here the tag team champion? Look at this. Actually, more saw on the part of Ray Mysterio. Right now, it's looking like Eddie and Ray. If they can get this three count in. Oh, Jeff Hardy was able to kick out, but you know that was a two and a half. Show the damage that has been done to Team High Risk in this one. And look at Ray Mysterio. Talk about someone that like to go high risk. 
Rey Mysterio does it. The DDT out to the floor. And if they're one of the great luchadors of, of all time, showing why that's the case even more, the DDT and then the springboard frog blast in the back. Rey Mysterio may have Jeff Hardy beat. No, he does not. Look at this, sending five foot right into the right into the corner there. Ooh, that's gonna back elbow there from, from Jeff Hardy. Here we go! Oh man, well, that's a forearm. Taking down Ray Mysterio. Now the jumping clothesline by Jeff Hardy. They've already tried to get back in this one. Like I say, they've been through two matches already. And if they get through Ray Mysterio and Eddie here, they can leave him the tag team champion. I'm first in the corner go Ray Mysterio, an excellent job. On the party, Jeff Hardy using the body of the weapon. Ray Mysterio now within a word of trouble. With a new tag team title on the line here. And right now, team high risk is in a position where they need to break, pull out everything they got to win this one. And look at that, preventing RVD, preventing Ray Mysterio from going anywhere. Off the double team, that's a great way to stay on top of your opponent. Look at that gut went through play. And now in the case of RVD, he can use a little bit more of his power. I mean, he got that size over Ray Mysterio. He can use a little bit more of his power game. And he's doing a little bit more just that right now. And to the moon, though, that's it. The gorilla press right into the moon salt. Right into the rolling thunder. Excellent work there on the part of RVD. RVD going for the cover of the rolling thunder. They're going to have him and no. And again, that probably shows, you know, how much Ray Mysterio and, or how much damage RVD and Jeff Hardy have been through. Usually RVD hit that and go straight for the, you know, for the five star. But he went straight for the cover and now he's going to go back to this. He's like he's going to go back for that. That leg drop across the barricade. Crowd here with him for once again. Is he going to hit it here? Oh, no, he doesn't. He missed. RVD go one for one on that move here tonight. And that risk from RVD may have backfired here. Look at that. Excellent spring ball right into the Hurricane Rana. And the six one no oh, no RVD caught him. RVD catches him and brings him down to the mat. Great look out on the part of RVD. If that six one nine would have connected, it would have been a it would have been lights out for RVD and Jeff Hardy. But RVD was able to counter into that oh that split legged I should say split legged move fall. Two Ray Mysterio, two, and a kick out at two. RVD or Ray Mysterio now rolled to the outside. Mysterio now slowly getting back to his feet. I mean, his first high risk moving the matchup didn't pay off, and this one gonna work. Yes, it does. Doing that dive, then the Ray crossing down. Now they are appreciating the tag team action on display. Eddie trying to reach for the tag. It may not matter here. Frog Black to the rim of Mysterio. The Frog Black connect by RVD. Straight into the cover here. Too high. Eddie Guerrero able to get in there a little bit faster than Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy was able to play great defense against Eminem. Not so much though there. Eddie was just a, just a hair quicker on that exchange. But good job on the part of RVD able to capitalize. Jeff Hardy at the top rope. Get a little bit of assisted shoulder tackle there. Excellent work on the part of Jeff Hardy and RVD. And he's been able to break things up. But prop two, Jeff and RVD for able to keep, for still keeping the matchup in their favor. Look at that. Excellent counter there on the part of Ray Mysterio. The part of probably thinking, of thinking about going for that switch to fate. Wait, not letting it happen. And down goes Jeff Hardy. Tag is made. In comes Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero now. Got Jeff Hardy in a world of trouble. 
Off of an excellent counter from Mysterio. This is Eddie the race chance to bring this one home. Off the rope. Go, oh man. Oh, Eddie Guerrero in that boot right to the mouth of Jeff Hardy. Eddie Guerrero now. Oh, here we go. Ah, he's going for that three amigos. Jeff Hardy in a very rough position. The third one connect. Eddie Guerrero now. Going up top. Going for a frog splash of his own. Here we go, and he nailed it. Frog Blatt nailed it, but prop the RVD getting in immediately. Getting in immediately. Preventing the thing, preventing the cover. But look at RV, oh, look at Ray Mysterio. Sunset flip, power bomb, sending RVD to the floor. Excellent work there on the part of Ray. And wait a second. Oh, look at that. That's a good dog millionaire bringing him down. Ray Mysterio incapacitates RVD. The back of Roth head cracked into the floor off that power bomb. But wait a second. Eddie admiring his partner with Andy Wood. Maybe got caught up by Jeff Hardy and no, he did not. Jeff Hardy now with the feet. Eddie may have taken the off the prize. And now Jeff Hardy looking to go for that swanton ball. He missed it. Go for the swanton bomb. He missed. And now Eddie Guerrero for the second time in this matchup to Jeff Hardy. It's the three amigo. Rob is still out. Jeff missed the swan Tom and then got hit with the three amigo. They now get hit with the frog blast. This may be over. Eddie and Ray does it. Eddie and Ray Mysterio are the new. WWE Tag Team Champion and a big thing to Rey Mysterio taking out RVD leaving him incapacitated but Jeff Hardy was well on his way to winning this one trying to go for the swan time backfired got caught with the three amigos and the frog flash and Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero move high move higher up together and they are now the WWE Tag Team Champion. You think you can feel it cool and once again for allowing me to step in the booth and enjoy the reign of Eddie and Ray as the Tag Team Champion. What a performance. Oh, Hunter, thank God I found you. I've been looking all over the place for you. What's wrong, Rick? Why are you out of breath? It's Batista. I was walking through the halls and I found him talking to Seth Rollins. What? What the hell is he thinking? He knows damn well that Seth is trying to tear this faction apart. I... I don't know. He did seem intrigued by the fact that Seth and Orton were able to break out and find success on their own. Do you think that's what it was about? I don't give a damn what it was about. As long as he's a part of evolution, he does not talk to anyone without me knowing about it. You know what? You and I are going to send a message to Batista and Rollins. Rollins bit the hand that fed him. And tonight, we're going to make damn sure that Batista sees what happens when you do. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to finally find out who has been behind the mask. It's time to finally find out who is the thief that stole the WWE Championship from this man right here, John Cena. What a night we have already had, ladies and gentlemen, and we are far from over. As the leader of the chain gang makes his way to the ring, of course, he is the WWE Champion, but he does not have that title around his waist, and that is because that title was stolen from him by some man in a ski mask. John Cena was given an ultimatum as was the general manager, Bret Hart, that the only way 
they would ever see that title again is if Bret Hart signed this masked man to an exclusive SmackDown contract and gave him a WWE title match. Right here tonight at King of the Ring, but the question remains, who is behind the mask? Masked man's gotten the upper hand on John Cena on a number of occasions. One will have to think that that might happen again here tonight because John Cena has no idea who his opponent is. Who is it? Yo, no way. You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. It's Chris Jericho? Chris Jericho's been the man behind the mask this entire time? If you guys cast your minds back to Judgment Day, Chris Jericho tried to get Bret Hart to give him a spot over here on, on SmackDown. And tried to get him, tried to get Bret Hart to give him a title match. Bret Hart said no. Bret Hart said no way, but the weasel, the snake, Chris Jericho found his way onto SmackDown and found his way into a championship match. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we have a new member of Friday Night SmackDown. It is Y2J, Chris Jericho in his first match on the blue brand and he's getting a WWE title opportunity. I don't believe this. But will it be his last WWE title opportunity? Yeah, you hand over that championship. That was never your championship to begin with, you son of a bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what it's all about. WWE Championship on the line. I am still in utter shock and what we just found out, Chris Jericho was the man behind the mask. He weaseled his way into this match. And here we go, Bell is underway. And oh my God, Jericho. Cena didn't want to waste any time. Weeks of frustration built up. Cena just brought it all out right there. And Jericho saw it coming. Jericho's had time to, to prepare for this match. Cena just found out who the hell he was facing. And Jericho sent him into the corner. Jericho full head of steam in our clothesline. Now, you, no, you come on. You shouldn't even be here. You don't even go here. Bret Hart said a long time ago that there is no place for wine asses like Chris Jericho on SmackDown. But, oh my God. That, that, a selfish son of a bitch found his way onto the blue brand anyway. And Cena obviously was not prepared for this match. Oh my God. Was not prepared for his opponent. It's at a complete disadvantage here. The only advantage he has is the championship advantage because he technically is still the WWE champion. It's Chris Jericho on the top rope. Gonna try to, to calm down here. Cross body down goes Cena into the cover. Hooks the leg. First cover of the match one and a kick out. Gonna have to do a lot more than that to put down John Cena. This is the man that defeated Kane and The Undertaker at Vengeance in a triple threat match. This is the man that, oh my God, defeated The Undertaker on the SmackDown after WrestleMania to become the WWE Champion. This is the man that's defeated Shelton Benjamin. This is the man that defeated Mr. Kennedy. John Cena is the leader of the chain game for a reason. He's a WWE Champion for a reason, and he has proven time and time again that he is more than just a paper champion, good God Almighty. But Jericho might, might put that reign to rest here tonight. We're talking about the first ever undisputed champion in Chris Jericho, the only man to defeat The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin in the same night. So if there's anybody that can take out Cena and win the title, and it's definitely Chris Jericho. Whether you like him or not, it's a talented individual. 
an in-ring veteran. And now Jericho wearing down Cena. Jericho wearing down Cena, taking it to the champion here. And another German suplex. Went for the bridging pin, but Cena, his hand was on, was on the bottom rope, so he had to break it up. This is not a nose disqualification match, so Jericho does have to abide by the rules, but one will have to wonder if he's actually going to, and there goes Cena. That's our WWE Champion, ladies and gentlemen. That is our champion, Luthas Press, and the fist come raining down on Jericho. And to say that this is deserving is an understatement. Cena sent him into the corner. Cena full head is steaming a massive running hip attack. And Cena's gonna make him pay for the weeks of assault and the weeks of mind games. Gonna make him pay. Gonna make him pay look for the elbow, but Chris Jericho moved out of the way. Jericho moved out of the way, and now Jericho, another German suplex. Good God almighty. You would think he's Brock Lesnar taking Cena to Suplex City here tonight. Cena rolling to the outside of the ring. He's in trouble. But wait a minute, Chris Jericho. Jericho full head of steam. Here comes Jericho. Suicide dive. Takes out the champion. As cocky as ever, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Chris Jericho is still the cocky Canadian that we all know and hate. Sent him into the into the steel structure for that Ultimate X match. We saw that match earlier tonight. What a match that was! And now Chris Jericho sends Cena back in the ring on the top rope. What the hell is he looking for here? Cena starting up to his feet and a massive. Oh no! Cena caught it. Looks for the double X handle, but no. Cena caught it into a backbreaker. Clutch reversal there by Cena, and this is Cena's opportunity. John Cena now sends Jericho off the ropes. Here comes Cena, here comes Cena. And oh wait, no, Jericho moved out of the way. Jericho moved out of the way, sent to the outside of the ring and a triangle drop kick. Cena tried to hang on, but Jericho stopped him dead in his tracks. Jericho saw it coming. Now sent him back in the ring. Into the corner, what's he looking for here? Into the corner, and a running bulldog. Vintage Jericho there. Vintage Jericho. And now Chris Jericho gonna follow it up with the lion salt on the Cena. That could be, that could very well do it. Into the cover, hooks the leg to capture the WWE Championship. Is that enough? No. Kick got it too, it's gonna take more than that to put down Cena Jericho. It's gonna take way more than that. Cena did not come this far to only go this far. Puts him in the corner, massive chop there by Jericho. What's Jericho looking for here? Jericho, sunset flip, looking for the pin, looking to steal a victory, but Cena stayed on his feet in a right hand, right square on the cheek to Jericho. Now that's deserving. Now Cena, Cena, protoplex, a protoplex to Jericho. We only see that pulled out once in a while. Oh my God, a kick out. Cena has not done enough, barely gotten any offense in this match. And it's all because he was not prepared for Jericho here tonight. Now he sends Jericho off the ropes, drops underneath. Cena leaps over the top. What's he looking for here? Massive power slam into the cover. Once again, hooks the leg. Is that enough to put Jericho away? No, kick out at two. Cena's doing whatever he can, but with each big move that he hits on Jericho, he's getting closer and closer to retaining that title. And look at the belly to belly suplex. Cena is getting fired up here at Kane of the Rain. Cena could be looking for the STF view, but no, Jericho fought out of it. Now Cena rolls to the outside of the rain. Wait a minute, here comes Chris Jericho. Here comes Jericho with a, a suicide dive. Take it, Cena down once again on the outside. Take it, Cena down once again. These fans are cheering it. it, it this is an awesome match. Whether you like Jericho or not, whether you like the way he found himself in this match or not, you can't deny that this is an awesome match. And now Jericho, Tiger Bomb, Tiger Bomb, stacks him up. That's it. No, it's not. Oh my God. 
I thought we had a new WWE Champion here tonight. You've already seen new Tag Team Champions crowned. I, I thought we were about to see a new WWE Champion crowned. As Cena up on that top rope, he's in massive trouble here. Jericho, wait a minute. Jericho on the top rope with him, looking for the Hurricane Rana, but the power of Cena, Cena, power bomb off the top rope. That could do it, that could be it. Cover, hooks the leg, is that enough to put Jericho away? Oh my God, it's not. It's not enough. And now Cena, Cena, Cena's got it. Cena dropped to a hold, Cena's got the drop to a hold, STF. STFU is locked in. STFU is locked in. Jericho might tap out here. He might have a. He might not have a choice. But no, Jericho fighting out of it. And no, Jericho. Jericho rolled him through. Jericho rolled him through in a massive chop there. And now Cena gets sent off the ropes. No oh, back body drop. Jericho follows it up. Oh my God. A penalty kick. And now Jericho. 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 Jericho, the walls are locked in on Cena. The walls are locked in on Cena. Will Cena tap out? We've never seen him tap out. Will we see it here tonight? No. Cena able to fight out. Cena able to fight out. And now here comes Cena. Here comes Cena. Here comes Cena. Ducks the clothesline. Down goes Jericho. And you all know what's coming next. You can't see him, but you are gonna feel it. Five knuckle shuffle. This could be the beginning of the end for Chris Jericho. He may have just wasted his only opportunity at the WWE Championship here tonight. Cena, Cena hooks him up. F you coming up, but no Jericho. Jericho trying to fight out. Jericho fought out of it. Jericho fought out of it, and here comes Jericho. Here comes Jericho. Close lines down goes Cena. Cena in the corner. Jericho's in trouble. Jericho has Cena right where he wants him, running forearm shot. What's this? Jericho sprained for Cold breaker to Cena. Off the middle rope. You've got to be kidding me, new champion. No, not a new champion. A kick out. Cena's reign continues. Jericho pulled that out of the bag. We only see that code breaker knee once in a while. Jericho could be looking for the final nail in the coffin. Jericho looks for the close eye. Cena reversed it, hooks him up, and face first into the canvas goes Jericho. Jericho got too cocky. He got too cocky, and it just cost him here. But will it cost him this opportunity at the WWE Championship? Forearm shot, Cena, massive clothesline to the back of the neck. Jericho's in trouble, Jericho's in trouble. Right hand, right hands by Cena. And a clothesline coming right up for Jericho. Jericho got flattened with the clothesline. He got flattened with the clothesline and now Cena, Cena, top rope. Jericho stirring to his face. Cena's gonna throw caution to the wind. Massive leg drop across the back of the neck into the cover. Is that enough to put Jericho away? Oh my God, it's not enough. A kick out of two. A kick out of two, but Cena not wasting any time. Cena's gonna stay on top of him because he knows he's gotta put him away somehow. He's gotta find something to put him away. Hooks him up on the top. What is Cena looking for now? Cena, wait a minute. Superplex from the top rope. Center of the ring. Jericho is in trouble. Jericho could be out. F you coming up. He says you can't see me. Jericho's done. But no, Jericho slipped out the back. Jericho slipped out the back. He's going to steal it. Jericho's going to steal it. No, 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 not like this. No, Cena, Cena just, just broke out of it. Jericho almost stole it and a massive chop, a massive chop to Cena. Sent him off the ropes, ducks the clothesline. Jericho sacks him out, rebound lariat, turns Cena inside out. 
And now Cena rolling to the outside of the ring because he realizes how much trouble he's in. But Jericho's not done with Cena. Jericho's not done with Cena. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. No, no, Jericho's got Cena. Jericho's got Cena. Oh, my God, a power bomb on the apron. Cena can't have anything left after that. Is this enough? Oh my god. It's not enough. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not enough. The champion will not stay down. Jericho looking for the Tiger Driver once again. But no, Cena reversed it in a clothesline. Reversed it into a clothesline. Cena measuring Jericho. Measuring Jericho. What's he looking for here? And to the corner goes Jericho. Cena. What's this? Spins him around. I don't know what I don't know. I don't know what Cena's looking for here. Oh wait a minute. Cena. Cena going back to the top rope scale on that top rope. And a massive back suplex. Good God almighty. Cena can't have much left of his back after this. And now Cena going back to the top rope. How many times is he gonna throw caution to the win here tonight? And a five knuckle shuffle from the top rope. Is that it? Cover, hooks the leg. Jericho kicks out. What is it gonna take? What's gonna be enough? Cena's looking for an FU once again. He hasn't been able to hit it yet. But no, Jericho reversed it. Oh my God, a code breaker once again to Cena. Jericho used whatever energy he had left to reverse the FU. And now he crawls into the cover. No, no, yes! Cena kicks out. Cena kicks out. Cena can't believe it. He's refusing to quit. And Cena just busted himself wide open. Cena just busted himself wide open. And Jericho tried to take advantage. But Jericho is in trouble. Look for the FU. Jericho slipped out the back once again. Jericho slipped out the back once again. Oh, what the hell? Jericho with the right hand, but Cena, Cena won't go down. Cena won't stay down. Uh-oh, Jericho's in trouble. Jericho's in trouble. Cena is hyping himself up. Jericho set off the ropes. What is this? Ducks the clothesline. Wait a minute, Cena, Cena, Cena. F you, F you to Jericho. But that's not it. That's not it. Cena picks it back up. F you again. Cover, what's the leg? Cena retains. What a match. Jericho had Cena's number until Cena said enough is enough. What a match, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight by Jericho. Take. Uh, forget everything that happened leading up to this match. Take nothing away from Chris Jericho here. I thought this match was over on a number of occasions. I thought Jericho had Cena's number, but this would be the end. Jericho tried to take Cena down, but Cena said enough is enough. And he lifts him back up from the ground for another F you. And Cena is still your WWE Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Jericho is a part of the SmackDown roster. But that man is still the WWE Champion at the end of the night. What a match and what a victory for John Cena. Chris, you're heading into the King of the Ring Finals against Bobby Lashley, who's got Paul Heyman in his corner. How are you feeling about this matchup? This is a huge opportunity for me. Lashley is a powerhouse, no doubt. And Heyman adds a new dynamic. But I've faced challenges before. And I've come out on top. This is my chance to prove I can stand alone.
Lashley has Heyman's guidance. Does that concern you? Heyman can strategize all he wants, but when we step into that ring, it's about who's the better man. I've been through tough times, and this is my redemption. Heyman or no Heyman, I'm here to win. Any final words for Lashley? Yeah. Lashley, you're a formidable opponent, but I'm not backing down. This is my time, and tonight, that King of the Ring crown is coming home with me. Thank you, Chris. Now, let's take it back to ringside for the finals of the inaugural Queen of the Ring tournament match. Take it away, Crater. Welcome everyone back to the King of the Ring pay-per-view. However, tonight's not just about crowning a brand new King of the Ring. It's all about crowning the first ever Queen of the Ring. And the Glamazon Beth Phoenix might be the one to do it. All she has to do is beat Trish Stratus here tonight and she'll be going on to SummerSlam to face the Women's Champion. However, one might argue that she should have had that match tonight for women's title here at the King of the Ring pay-per-view, but thanks to Trish Stratus and Gail Kim, that did not happen due to their interference at the Avengers pay-per-view against Lita. It was now Lita who is facing the Women's Champion here tonight. However, Beth Phoenix has the opportunity to right that wrong. By competing in this eight-woman tournament, she's now in the finals. All she has to do is beat the woman who screwed her out of that championship opportunity in the first place. Trish Stratus. Oh, Trish, perfect. You didn't go out there yet. Can you please let me accompany you to the ring tonight? I don't think so, Gail. I don't want anyone getting involved in my match with Beth tonight. I want to prove to myself and the world that I still got what it takes to go all the way in the WWE. Oh, please, Trish. It would really mean a lot to me. Look, I know I've been out of line recently, and I apologize. I promise that this time I won't get involved. I just want to watch my best friend go out there and do what she does best. Pretty please? All right, all right. Since you ask so nicely, you can come down to the ring with me. But you have to promise me that you won't get involved. You'll let me handle it? Oh, yes, of course. I won't get involved whatsoever. This is going to be great. You and I at the top once again. Thank you, Trish. Of course, anything for my main squeeze. Now, come on, I think they're waiting for me. Well, as I predicted, Beth Phoenix has an uphill battle to climb because not just be Trish Stratus who she's dealing with, but also her quote-unquote best friend, Gail Kim. I mean, Gail Kim. I say quote-unquote because, my God, there has been a lot of having a couple weeks between these two. So first off, when St. McMahon announced the Queen of the Ring tournament, she purposely put Trish Stratus and Gail Kim to face each other in the first round and make sure none of, at least one of them was not going to make it to the finals. However, Trish Stratus and Gail Kim outsmarted Stephanie by having Trish Stratus simply lay down for Gail Kim for Gail Kim to advance to the semifinals. Stephanie May did not like that, so she gave Trish Stratus another opportunity on the other side of the bracket. So then when it came down to it once again with Trish Stratus and Gail Kim, something actually changed. Mickey James able to talk some sense into Trish Stratus, and they actually had a hard-fought battle, which Trish Stratus actually won, which made her advance to the finals of tonight's Skin and Ring Tournament. Did Gail Kim like that? Well, she's by her side right here tonight, so I would say she's fine with it for right now, but who knows? But right now, it is the finals of the, king, of the Queen of the Ring Tournament. I know it's called King of the Ring Pay-Per-View, but this is all about the women here in this matchup. Right now, Beth Phoenix is coming out hot. Again, it's all about revenge for Beth Phoenix. One can argue Beth Phoenix was the one focused on this tournament because she just wants to get back to the position that she originally had before Trish Stratus screwed her over at the Vengeance pay-per-view. And they get a shot at the Women's Championship. And another clothesline by Beth Phoenix again. Taking out all her frustration that she's been boiling up for months against Trish Stratus and Gail Kim. But legally, she can only touch Trish Stratus at the moment. Beth Phoenix is one win away from making history. Becoming the first ever queen of the ring and punching her ticket to once again have an opportunity at the women's title. When it comes to women's title, you cannot talk about it without talking about the decorated champion Trish Stratus herself. 
multiple time women's champion. She wants to be on top again, which is why she kind of formed that alliance with Gail Kim. They figured they can work off each other and get to the top. Oh, what a brain buster by Beth Phoenix. As you've seen for the past couple weeks on Raw, there will only be one person at the top. It seems like Trish Stratus, Gil Kim have been struggling with that. But it seems like they are fine for right now, but Beth Phoenix doesn't care. One, two, and a kick out by Trish Stratus. She didn't care about friends. She didn't care about enemies. She's talking about winning matches and hopefully getting a shot again at that when it's tight. I see Gail Kim looking on for her best friend. Right now, Trish Stratus up top. Oh, look like she's trying to go for Hurricane Rana, but Beth Phoenix able to reverse it into a power bomb. That could be it. One, two, and a kick out by Trish Stratus. I mean, that was definitely close to a three count. And it could have been over right there for Trish. I mean, she worked hard to get back to this opportunity. Mickey James tried to talk sense to her a couple weeks ago on Raw, saying, You do not have. To lay down for Gail Kim. You can show why you're the best woman on this roster. She did just that, and that's why she's here tonight. And Trish Stratus is showing it right now. Coming back at Beth Phoenix. And people tend to forget, despite how her the cowardly ways that she's been acting recently, people forget again, Trish Stratus, when it comes down to it in the ring, she's arguably one of the greatest women's wrestlers of all time here in the WWE. She's taking it. Beth Phoenix. So Stratus now. Second rope, maybe this time she had, once again. Oh, this time she was trying to go for a double axe handle, but once again, Beth Phoenix able to reverse it. The power and strength of Beth Phoenix. Submission hold. So Stratus try to get out of it, and she does. Nice arm drag by Trish to get out of it. Back and forth between these two women right here. And the sold out crowd for the King of the Ring pay-per-view. And oh, throwing Beth Phoenix neck first to the second rope. Cover, one. Oh, and a kick out. Just only with a count of one. So let's think about that for a second. Beth Phoenix is able to get Trish Stratus to a two count. But for Trish, it's only one. I mean, what that could kind of, you know, has some head gains for Trish right there, knowing that her best is just not good enough for Beth Phoenix at the moment. And again, it kind of goes to show the pass they took to get to the finals. Beth Phoenix was all about pure strength and domination, winning her bracket easily and fair on Trish Stratus. And Gail Kim tried to cheat their way to the finals. Beth now. Trying to cover the outside. Just trapped for the third time on the top row. Third time's a charm. And this time it is. The Bronco Buster off the top rope to the outside. It's a high risk move there, but it paid off for Trish Stratus. And once again, running outside. This time for the ring even with that huge clothesline from Trish Stratus. The referee continues. The count, but Trish Stratus does not care. Oh my God, nice Hurricane Rana. To the outside. Trish Stratus, again, is showing why. She's one of the best women here in WWE. I think this lit a fire to Trish at that one count. And once again, another Bronco Buster. Cover, one, two, and a kick out by Beth Phoenix, but this time, it got to the count of two, so Trish, okay, she's she is working her way. Wearing down Beth. Which Trish trying to go to maybe for a stratisfaction. For a Trish kick. Now Beth Phoenix sidewalk slam. Okay, rebound out Irish flip into a sidewalk slam. Oh my god. Really honing in on the ribs with Trish Stratus. As Gail Kim continues to watch on, I'm wondering if she thinks that this could have been her moment. 
instead of Trish. But hey, fair was fair. And Trish was able to beat Gail Kim this past Monday on Raw. To be in the finals of the Queen of the Ring. Stratus smart, although I don't think she really realized you rolling out the ring with Beth Phoenix. They didn't take her right back into it. Okay. Yeah, Beth Phoenix again did not forget it was also Gail Kim who screwed her over. Avengers, oh my god, and a spear! I think the distraction paid off by Gail Kim. As True Stratus did a hell of a spear to the outside. As you hear this crowd, this is definitely awesome. Now True Stratus looking to come back here. Okay. There it is. Hurricane Rana from the top rope. One, two, and a kick out. Not even her signature, her Karana. Can still put away Beth Phoenix. And Trish is trying all she can. Once again with the rack by Beth. But Trish Trash quickly gets out of it. Before it took a while. Okay, so Trish Strad, I guess she knows Beth Phoenix's moves. Oh, with a cradle. One, two, and a kick out. Oh, Beth Phoenix versus one, two. Oh, back and forth. One, two. Oh, I thought it was three right there. But Beth Phoenix quickly got out of Oh, my God, a discus elbow. Trish Stratus is knocked out cold. We'll be looking at the next Queen of the Ring in moments. Gail Kim is soon realizing that as well. He left he walks away with the victory in the Monkey Tinder shot. First SummerSlam for the women's title. And now, Beth. Well, she has Trish right where she wants her. Oh, another running elbow. Well, I mean, I'm running elbow this time to the turnbuckle. Oh, the string of Beth Phoenix with a huge string deadlifting Trish Stratus. See it throwing her in that turnbuckle. Oh, this time. Having her put on top of the turnbuckle, the strength of Beth Phoenix with the military press. Just throwing Trish Stratus. Face first to the mat. One, two, and somehow Tristratus kicks out. It's all about who wants it more. Who wants to go to SummerSlam? Who wants to be the first ever Queen of the Ring? Tristratus now looking to come back. Bulldog. Elevated Bulldog. Now Tristratus looking to come back. Oh look, I thought she was, but now, wait a minute. Oh, what a reverse to Tornado DDT. Beth Phoenix was trying to go for the Grand Slam, but she reversed it into a Tornado DDT. The crowd is on their feet right now. Oh, he's looking for the Trish kick. But now Beth Phoenix is the one. That is coming back. Oh no. Damn. Tristratus got her. Gil Kim looking over to see a new Queen of Ring. One, two, and Beth Phoenix kicks out. Tristratus cannot believe it. She's giving all she can to Beth, but it's just not enough. Just Stratus looks like he's trying to go for the Stratus faction. Can she hit it? Oh, and Beth Phoenix throws her off. No, she did not. Mid-air was able 
to adjust herself and throw Tristratus off. That is pure impressive stream I've never seen before. Only Beth Fiends can do it. Oh my god, on the top rope. Superplex. Bye. Beth. This has to be it. One. Two. And a kick out by Trish Stratus. I mean, we've heard this awesome chance throughout this match. And they were all rightfully deserved. These two women are literally giving their all. Look like, again, Beth was trying to go for the Grand Slam. Oh, and Trish kick. Cover. One. Two. You gotta be kidding me. Beth Phoenix kicked out. There is no way Beth Phoenix gonna kick out of that. Trish Trash could not believe it. She, I mean, Trish Trash just stay calm. She doesn't know what more she has to do here. Oh. Bulldogs, or I should say Strash Faction off the top rope, I would argue. One, two, and Beth Phoenix will not give in. <laughs> I just can't believe it. The crowd is on their feet. Sold out here at the King of the Ring pay-per-view. Trish Stratus, there's one more move left that she can attempt to move to try before Beth Phoenix. Stopped it as the Stratus faction. Now Beth. Two clotheslines. Oh, the running clothesline. By the Glamazine. It's Beth now looking for her Grand Slam. And she hits it. It could be over, but wait, Gail Kim. Oh, I knew she was going to be a factor to this map. Trying to distract Beth Phoenix. I mean, again, Gil can't, can't touch Beth Phoenix. How about his qualification for Trish Stratus? I don't think Trish has realized that Gil Kim is distracting Beth, but now she's going to take advantage of that. She runs out the way and accidentally hits Gil Kim. I don't think Trish has meant to do that. Grand slam for the second time. Oh, but wait. It's not over. Going for a submission. Trish has nowhere to go. Man, she's gonna break Trish Stratus apart. Trish Stratus had no choice but the tap. We have the first ever Queen of the Ring in Beth Phoenix. However, I would say this match is not in a controversy. Gail Kim try to help Trish. Trish accidentally hit Gail Kim, which was more than enough for Beth Phoenix to hit that Grand Slam and tie her up in that submission hole, almost breaking Trish Stratus in half. See right there, the closing moments of this matchup. Gail Kim trying to help out her friend. Trish Stratus accidentally hits Gail Kim. I would say that was obviously completely unintentional, but it cost her the match. Now we know Beth Phoenix once again has her opportunity to face the women's champion and she'll do it at the next pay-per-view SummerSlam. Heyman, your client Bobby Lashley has a huge opportunity in the King of the Ring finals against Chris Benoit. What are your thoughts? What are my thoughts? My thoughts, my thoughts are that Benoit is in way over his head. Just look at this man. He's a specimen, an athletic marvel. He's defeated some of the best and he's just getting started. Lashley's not just the future, he's the now. Benoit is great, but Bobby Lashley is the future king. Benoit has talked about redemption. What's your response? Redemption? Chris, bless his heart, is living in the past. Lashley's dismantled legends, including a certain beast at WrestleMania. This is Lashley's time, his kingdom to conquer. If Benoit knew what was good for him, he'd tuck his tail between his legs and return to the tag team division with that pipsqueak Daniel Bryan. Some say Benoit's experience might give him the edge. Your thoughts? Experience is overrated. The last King of the Ring winner was Brock Lesnar, the youngest WWE champion in history and the man that had the quickest climb to the top in WWE. And now it's Lashley's turn. 
His raw power and athleticism trump everything. King of the Ring will be the coronation of the rightful king, and that's Bobby Lashley. Thank you, Lashley and Heyman. Now, let's go back to ringside, where NR23 is waiting to call what is set to be a special match in the finals of the Owen Hart Memorial Tournament. Take it away, Nick. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the King of the Ring pay-per-view. I am your host and commentator, Nick. I'd like to take this time to personally thank and huge shout-out to Dylan Tulin for allowing me to have this great opportunity and commentate this once-in-a-lifetime special matchup. It is time to see the gold standard. Sheldon Benjamin, it's time for some more Owen Hart Memorial Tournament action. And we are here to find out who wins this matchup. And Sheldon Benjamin looks locked in. He looks ready for a fight. The gold standard's got a lot of good, high-quality wins throughout this tournament. Benjamin has been on a roll as of late. Benjamin is a man on a mission looking to get a fair shot and a rightful shot at the Intercontinental Championship since his opportunity was stolen from him by that dastardly Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle. But the issue is, ladies and gentlemen, he has to go up against this man right here. The man, the architect, Seth freaking Rollins. He's here. He's looking to also get a big time win. Seth Rollins has already noted and gone on record to state that if he is to win this tournament here tonight, he is looking to get an Intercontinental title shot against Batista at SummerSlam, which is going to be in Ontario, Canada. But we have to see what happens here tonight first. We have to see Seth Rollins get through this man here. Seth Rollins and Sheldon Benjamin both got something to prove here in this matchup. Two world-class elite top-level athletes and professional wrestlers here in the WWE both looking to prove a point that they want some gold around their waist and they want opportunity. That's the key, ladies and gentlemen. An opportunity hangs in the balance here as Rollins meets Benjamin. And this could be a classic, ladies and gentlemen. This could be a good one, folks. You really got to look out for both these men. They're both on fire as of late. But now they've both got something to prove. And they're both looking for a quality win here in this tournament. Another thing that I thought was absolutely crazy, folks, was earlier tonight when we saw Seth Rollins interacting backstage with Batista himself. And you got to wonder what was going on there. Of course, Seth Rollins has gone on record to say once again, that if he wins this tournament and if he gets a title shot at the IC title, that he is gunning for Batista. So it'll be interesting to see that situation. But the gold standard might have something to say about that. Oh, but hold on, ladies and gentlemen. If you turn your attention to the stage, you'll see we've got a couple of visitors, ladies and gentlemen, at the top of the stage. We've got Matt Hardy, the leader of Team Mattitude, and we've got the animal Batista watching. We've got two visitors scouting the competition, ladies and gentlemen. This is an absolute big fight feel here as Benjamin goes up against Rollins, two world-class elite-level athletes. If you're in the live chat, first off, once again, thank you to Dylan Tulin for the opportunity to commentate this once-in-a-lifetime matchup between these two great athletes. Who do you got if you're in the live chat? You got Benjamin or Rollins? Leave your predictions down below. But it looks like we've been joined by Matt Hardy and Batista, ladies and gentlemen. We, we saw earlier tonight, we know Matt Hardy is not in the best of moods, especially after Team Mads, who got eliminated in the tag team gauntlet match earlier tonight. So we'll have to see if that plays a factor. But now Rollins runs out of all, but nobody home. Benjamin moves out the way in the corner. And now Benjamin, oh my goodness, standing DDT to Seth Rollins, the gold standard, maybe on fire here to start off this matchup, folks. And now into the corner goes Rollins. And now, uh-oh, the gold standard pounding away on Rollins. This means the world to Sheldon Benjamin. He's looking to get a fair shot at the Intercontinental title after that piece of crap. The Olympic gold medalist, that evil, dazzling Kurt Angle, cost him his shot all those weeks and months ago. And now, oh, the ground and pound strikes of Shelton Benjamin. Shelton Benjamin, of course, is an elite level talent who has performed at the top of his class. He's at the very top of his class back, dating back to when he was training at the OVW Training Center for WWE. And oh, the, oh Benjamin with a back suplex to Rollins. Benjamin gonna look to put him away with cover. Can he get in here early on? And oh, a one count, Rollins kicks out. You have to do more to take out the architect. Seth Rollins, of course, former member of Evolution here in the WWE. And oh, oh my goodness, the spinning kick right to the midsection. Seth Rollins looking to use that athleticism, but I don't know if you can use athleticism against a guy like 
Benjamin because both these guys are pretty athletic in their own right. So it's going to be interesting to see what these guys have to use. Oh, and Rollins with a hurricane. Rana off the rebound from Benjamin. Goes Benjamin, excuse me, into the corner. Oh, Rollins, though, this time clothesline and into the corner. Huge jumping clothesline that could have changed the momentum here early on, here in the early going here. And now Seth Rollins here. Seth Rollins, what you looking for here? Standing moon. Oh, my goodness. Look at the height Rollins got. Man, oh, man, that vertical jump. Just a thing of picture-perfect beauty, folks. My goodness, flying through the air like Kobe Bryant in 2001. My goodness, and oh, oh, rolls through, sunset flip. Oh, my God, picks him up. Oh, and oh, a huge set out power bomb. Look at that athleticism and theory of strength by Seth Rollins. Goes for the cover here. Can he get it? And oh, my goodness, Benjamin kicks out. What a crafty maneuver right there by the architect, ladies and gentlemen. That's how quickly Seth Rollins can change and turn the tides of a match like this. And a match to this magnitude will definitely, oh my goodness, need some of that type of action as Rollins gets driven into the top rope, stomach first. And uh oh, the gold standard. Oh, look at the lock in a figure four leg lock. Figure four, shades of honorary member of Evolution, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Woo, as Rollins now rolls out to the ring. Smart strategy by Seth Rollins, maybe get a, a, a chance to breathe, get catch your breath and get back into this matchup potentially. But now Benjamin, Benjamin, look out, oh my goodness, my goodness, Topico and Halo over the top. Benjamin goes flying through the air like Michael Jordan on the 1996 Bulls. My goodness, Benjamin, that freak athleticism is insane in the gold standard. And now Benjamin springboard clothesline, my goodness, to Seth Rollins. My goodness, is he in trouble? He goes for the cover. Has he done it all? And Rollins gets the kick out. Rollins gets the shoulder up. Benjamin getting a little frustrated here a little bit. You gotta be wondering. You gotta be wondering. And I think it's very smart strategy for Batista and Matt Hardy to be out here scouting the potential competition and a huge military press power slam by the gold standard. And Benjamin now talking. He's feeling himself. He's feeling himself. And now Seth Rollins with a knee out of nowhere. Jumping knee. My goodness. And oh, another knee right to the face. Spins off him. Seth Rollins could be looking to get back into this matchup. Oh, a huge sling blade. Rolls through. Drop kick right to the head of Benjamin. My goodness. And now Rollins, what's he looking for? Seth Rollins now. Grappling. Rolls through. Rolls through. Super kick. Schoolboy super kick. Goes for the cover. Can he get it? And no. Oh, Benjamin able to kick out. Man, oh man. Both these guys putting a lot on the line here. Looking to get a big time win here in the honor of Owen Hart. And now, uh oh, grappling. Oh, but Benjamin counters. Benjamin counters and now kick to the gut. And now Furious strikes. Looking to get the offense. Roundhouse kick to Seth Rollins. What's Benjamin looking for here? Shelton. What's he looking for here? Looking to stalk his prey potentially off the ropes. Oh, my goodness. Drop it into the corner. Seth Rollins could be hurt right now, ladies and gentlemen. Grabbing those ribs. It's not looking good for Seth Rollins right now, folks. And now, uh oh, Benjamin picks him up. Benjamin drops him down, single knee, gut buster right into the midsection of Rollins. Sean Benjamin looking to work in the midsection of Rollins' body. Smart strragger here for the gold standard, off the ropes, uh oh, uh oh, rolls through, uh oh, leapfrog. And now Benjamin spine buster right to the architect, man oh man, the architect has been dropped, is that it? And now oh, Seth Rollins able to get the shoulder up. Rollins looking to get back up to his feet. What, what could Benjamin be looking to do now? What could be Benjamin possibly do? Throws him into the corner once again. And now props him up on the top rope. And now Sheldon Benjamin strikes him right in the face. What's Benjamin looking for here? Benjamin rolls through. Once again, showing that flesh. Oh my God. Look at the way he got up on the top rope. And a super flex to Rollins and rolls through. Catches him. Look at the. Oh my, but Rollins counters into a. My goodness, counters into the Falcon's arrow. What a crafty counter from the architect. And now Seth Rollins strikes Benjamin, and now a chop, and now Rollins with a chop, a few strikes and chops, and now Seth Rollins throws Benjamin through the ropes, Rollins got a crazy look design, looking to go high risk here, look out, oh, there goes Rollins now, flying through the air, my goodness, the athleticism of Rollins is insane, this match is getting crazy, ladies and gentlemen, and look at Matt Hardy's face. The two champions are stunned right now, and so am I, ladies and gentlemen. These two champions are eyeing this match like a hawk. They have not taken their eyes off this matchup. Scouting the competition heavy, and a jumping knee for using the springboard offense, excuse me, to take down Benjamin. Oh, rolls through, my goodness. My goodness, flips through, lands on Benjamin's stomach. And oh, another moonsault, standing moonsault to the gold standard. Sheldon Benjamin could be in trouble here. And oh, Rollins using the grounding strikes. 
The punch is right to the face, right in the middle of the forehead and above the nose. Benjamin could be fading here, ladies and gentlemen. Can Benjamin get back into it? Irish whip into the corner. And now what's Rollins thinking of doing here? The architect, he's got Benjamin. What's he gonna do here? Seth Rollins, uh-oh, he's getting him up here. Oh, Rollins, oh, what a, a crafty suplex. Man, oh man, modified suplex from the corner. And now Seth Rollins goes to the top rope. What's he looking for here? Seth Rollins, watch this. Oh my God, a Phoenix Splash. Phoenix Splash is that it. And, oh, Benjamin kicks out. My goodness. My goodness. The athleticism in this match is insane. How did that not put Benjamin away, ladies and gentlemen? My goodness. Both these men are putting all they have. They're putting their bodies on the line with Benjamin counters. Benjamin counters. And now Benjamin looking to spark some sort of comeback into this matchup. The gold standard. Uh oh, takes his leg. Oh, it sweeps the leg off of Munder Rollins. Benjamin's on fire, ladies and gentlemen. The gold standard is looking to get back into this matchup. Can the gold standard do it here tonight? And now Benjamin, Benjamin. Uh oh, he looks like he's on fire. Call it for Rollins to get up. Rollins is up now. What's Benjamin looking for here? Kick to the gut, but no. No, Rollins counters. Oh my God, Benjamin with a kick right to the face. My goodness, Benjamin with a kick to the face. Irish whip, my goodness, and the stinger splash. Stinger splash. Benjamin's gonna do it. My goodness, Benjamin's fired up. Benjamin's fired up, and now he's setting up. What's he looking for here? And now, uh-oh, the T-bone suplex to Rollins. And Rollins kicks out, my goodness. My goodness, this crowd is stunned. Man, oh man, and now wait a minute, what the, oh my god, no, what the hell, get this man out of here, it's that bastard, it's that son of a bitch, Kurt Angle, the Kurt Angle's here, what the hell, man, and now wait a minute, wait a minute, who's that in the hood? Holy shit, Charlie Haas, a longtime friend and ally of Shelton Benjamin. He's here to protect Benjamin from Kurt Angle. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get your ass out of here, Kurt. Get your ass out of here, man. Get your ass out of here. And now Charlie Haas looks back in the ring. Thank you, Charlie Haas, for preventing Kurt Angle from ruining this great matchup between these two elite-level talents here. And now we can continue on with the match and get a proper winner and a proper ending here. And all the wrongs from behind. Wrongs from behind. Don't take your eye off the prize. Is he gonna steal the victory? Oh, and Benjamin though, Benjamin though kicks out and now turns it into a roll-up of his own. Can Benjamin get it? No. And now Rollins turns it into another roll-up. Can Rollins steal it? No, Benjamin. Benjamin kicks out. Man, that was close, ladies and gentlemen. Benjamin almost still took his eye off the prize, but now Rollins catches it with a clothesline. Rollins looking to make a comeback. And Rollins with a super kick, but no! Oh my, he got caught. He got caught with the ankle lock. The ankle lock locked in by Shelton Benjamin. Shades of the man we just saw, Kurt Angle. My goodness, the ankle lock locked in on Seth Rollins. Is Seth freaking Rollins about to tap out to the gold standard? It's locked in all, but now all Rollins rolls through and Benjamin falls on his back. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen. And now Rollins with a chop. My goodness, and now a chop right to the chest. And now a chop, another chop. And now into the corner, Benjamin stunned. Can Benjamin stay in this here? And now Rollins though, Rollins, oh my goodness, no, not this, not the buckle, oh, but his back gave out. Rollins' back gave out, his back gave out, and now Benjamin, springboard, oh, but he gets caught. He gets caught with a kick to the gut, and now Rollins with a pedigree. Pedigree shades of his old protege, Triple H. And oh, Benjamin gets his, his hand on the rope. He saves himself by a second. He saved himself by a second by putting his hand on the rope. Oh, now wait a minute, and here we go. It's Triple H. Here he is, speaking of Triple H, sticking his big fat beak nose right in the middle of this matchup. Come on, more disruption here, and Triple H staring down the Intercontinental Champion, the Animal Batista. Batista is staring down Triple H. What is going on? And Triple H, Triple H is backing down. He's backing down. Triple H has left, my goodness, my goodness, oh now wait a minute, the nature boy Ric Flair, that son of a bitch Ric Flair, oh and now creating a distraction to Seth Rollins, come on, not this way, what is going on, these sons of bitches of evolution are desperate here, and now a sling blade, but now Rollins out with a drop right to the face of Ric Flair, and now oh, Seth Rollins, 
Seth Rollins here. No, not the carb stop to Ric Flair. Right on the outside. My goodness, holy shit. Ric Flair might be in concussion protocol. My goodness, he just laid out the nature boy. But is that really how desperate? Oh my goodness, and now Benjamin. Benjamin looking to take advantage here. Benjamin now gets him up here. And oh my god, no, no, not this. Avalanche, oh my god, Avalanche team on suplex from the second row. Is that it? And oh my god, Rollins kicks out again. How is that not it? This match is insane, ladies and gentlemen. What the hell is going on? And now Benjamin Irish whip into the corner. Benjamin now. Benjamin. Uh oh. And now grapples Rollins. What's he looking for here? Turns all around. And now Shelton. What's he looking for here? The gold standard. What's he looking for here? Punch right to the back. What's Benjamin looking for here? Avalanche German suplex, but no. Rollins lands on his feet. My, my goodness, he lands on his feet. My goodness, now he taunts at Benjamin. And now what, Rollins talking trash. And now Rollins picks him up, oh my goodness, and drops him with a kick right to the, right to the chest. My goodness, right to the chest. And now Rollins with the huge revolution King Slayer knee to the face of Benjamin. Is that it? And no, Benjamin kicks out. The gold standard is still alive. My goodness, my goodness. And now Rollins, I was whipped into the corner. And now what? And now what's Rollins thinking here? What's he doing? What's the architect gonna do? Rollins now looking for an avalanche. Hurricane runner, but wait a minute, what Benjamin caught him? A still power bomb from the rope, from the middle rope. My goodness, the strength of Benjamin. What a counter from him. What a counter from Benjamin. And now Alcos went over the top. And now Benjamin could be looking to fly once again. Benjamin, look out, Rollins. My goodness. My goodness, Tope Suicida. My goodness. My goodness, the suicide dive. Benjamin is on fire, folks. I don't know who the hell's gonna win this damn thing. My goodness, it's gonna be either of these guys. Both these men putting their sweat and tears into this matchup. My goodness, and now Benjamin. Benjamin, oh, but nobody home. Nobody home. Rawls moves out the way. The architect moves out the way. And now Rawls looking once again. A fury of offense. The clotheslines. And now a super kick to Benjamin. A super kick to the gold standard. And Seth Rawls now gets Benjamin up back to his feet. And now, uh-oh. Rollins gets Benjamin, flips over, my goodness, a standing modified version of the slice bread number two, and now Benjamin kicks out, that's not enough, my goodness, what do these two have to do, ladies and gentlemen, which one of these world class elite level athletes can put the other one away, I don't see this happening, this is crazy, neither one of these guys will be put away, and now Rollins rolls through, and I'll get him up here, and I'll pick him up looking, my goodness, the buckle bomb into the corner, Buckle bomb into the corner. And now Rollins. Rollins is fired up. Rollins looking to get the crowd amped up. Rollins is on fire here. And now he picks up Shelton Benjamin. What's he looking for here? Grapples Benjamin into the corner. And now what? What's he looking for here? Elbow right to the face. And now what's Rollins doing here? Rollins elevated curves. Oh, and now Benjamin caught him with the paint art. He caught him. And all oh, Rollins kicks out. Holy shit. My goodness, what a match. My goodness. My goodness, he caught him with the pay dirt. And the son of a bitch still won't be put away. He's gonna have to do more. What do these two have to do, damn it? This is just crazy, ladies and gentlemen. And now oh, Benjamin. Benjamin, what's he looking for here? Benjamin now looking to fly once again. Oh, and he gets caught in a super kick. My goodness. He gets caught in a super kick, and now Rollins, Rollins with the curb stomp, curb stomp to the skull of Benjamin, and now he goes for the cover. Is that it? And yes, that's it. Seth Rollins has won this matchup. My goodness, Seth Rollins has won. Ladies and gentlemen, what a contest. Both competitors put it all on the line here. What a win for Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins moves on, and he now earns himself a title opportunity against the Intercontinental Champion, the Animal Batista. Man, oh man, what a finish, what a match. Shelton Benjamin, man, what an absolute great effort from Shelton Benjamin. The Gold Center put on a hell of an effort here tonight, but it is Seth Rollins, the architect, who earns himself and I see title shots. Seth freaking Rollins wins here tonight. What a win for this man right here. Rollins 
is gunning for Batista thanks to this win against Benjamin. Oh, what the hell do you want, Christian? Huh? You cost Gregory Helms and Shannon Moore the tag team titles earlier tonight. What more do you want? You know damn well what I want, Matt. You got it in your hands right there. I want a fair shot at the United States Championship. Yeah, we'll keep dreaming. Because as long as I hold on to this title, you will never get a shot at it. Well, that's actually not true, Matt. You see, I just came from Bret Hart's office. And he said that since Seth Rollins will be challenging Batista for the Intercontinental Championship at SummerSlam, you'll need somebody to face for the U.S. title. And I guess great minds think alike because he chose me. What? Are you kidding me? This is a travesty. Nobody wants to see me face your lame ass at SummerSlam. I... Hold on, Matt. There was one other thing I wanted to say to you. I'll see you at SummerSlam. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to King of the Rain. What a night we have had thus far. Now it is time for some more women's action as the number one contender to the women's championship makes her way to the ring. And right here, right now, we're about to find out who will face the winner of the Queen of the Rain tournament, Beth Phoenix, at the SummerSlam pay-per-view. Lita, of course, getting this opportunity when she defeated Beth Phoenix at Vengeance in a number one contenders match thanks to the distraction of Trish Dryas and Gail Kim. Of course, it was Gail Kim that in, inadvertently cost Trish Dryas that match earlier on tonight. We'll have to see how that plays out. And it was also earlier tonight that we saw Edge successfully retain the World Heavyweight Championship by a disqualification. We also saw the return of CM Punk, but we can't focus on all that. That's in the past. That was earlier tonight. We got to focus on the now because here comes the ninth wonder of the world, China, who has seemingly turned over a new leaf here over the past few weeks, taking on a more aggressive approach. She said she's sick of trying to be the locker room leader. She's sick of trying to lend a helping hand to the likes of Beth Phoenix, Mickey James, and others. She said she came back for one reason and one reason only to instill some legitimacy to the women's division and she has been doing just that since winning that title at Judgment Day from Gail Kim. And she's been on a mission to take out the four women that she faced at WrestleMania. She won the title from Gail Kim. Tonight she looks to take out Lita. three women my apologies but ladies and gentlemen women's championship on the line you know Beth Phoenix is going to be watching this match closely if you cast your minds back to Wrestlemania 20 it was that woman right there it was Lita that took China out when she hit the Lita so through an announce table which gave Gil Kim the opportunity to retain the title on that night as Lita talking a little bit of smack there trying to come straight out the gate look for the clothesline but Lita ducked it Lita looking to play some mind games with the ninth wonder of the world and I don't think you want to do that as China looks for another clothesline but Lita using her quickness to her advantage it is the quickness of Lita versus the power game of China and Lita able to use the quickness to her advantage sends China dumping her to the outside of the ring and Lita is going to look to pick up the pace early here and that's exactly what she's going to have to do if she wants to take out the ninth wonder of the world here comes Lita full head of steam suicide time not wasting any time is the former women's champion Lita. She held that title for quite some time before losing it to Gail Kim. But now Lita top rope, China standing up to her feet. And now look at the Hurricane Rana by Lita. Lita has had China's number over the past few weeks ever since WrestleMania. We'll have to see if that will continue here tonight. We'll have to see if we will see the crowning of a new women's champion here tonight. But if I know China, she's gonna do anything in her power to keep that from happening. Oh, and look at China. There's that aggressive side of China that I was talking about. She is sick. 
of trying to help others that show no appreciation towards it. So now she said that this win is for herself. She's gonna continue to be the most dominant women's champion in WWE history. And I I have to say I agree. I believe her in a nice right hand there. Forearm shot right to the face and Lita gonna take a second to try to get, regain her composure. But China's not gonna give her a second, but oh, she gave her just enough time. Gave her just enough time. And now Lita, Hurricane Rana from the apron. Taking down the ninth wonder of the world again. That quickness coming into a play here. And here comes Lita once again. Another suicide dive taking it to China here. China was not expecting this level of offense from Lita, but she knows she should have, because this is a women's championship opportunity. This is also an opportunity to go to SummerSlam with the women's title. And here comes Lita crossbody, but China caught her in midair. China caught her in midair, it sends her right into the corner and tosses her into the center of the ring. That power game of China coming into play here. We'll have to see if she can keep up that power advantage and ha take it all the way to gain the victory. And the power slam, the power slam by China takes down the number one contender. Lita's in trouble here. Into the corner, right hands by China, a second one. China slowing the pace down, that's what she needs to do. She cannot afford to quicken up the pace. She's gotta do things like that. Tossing Lita across the ring. Tossing Lita across the ring, and now China hit, lifts her up. Running power slam, cover, hooks the leg. Is that enough to put her away? No. Kick out of two by Lita. Still to come tonight, Shawn Michaels versus Stain in a last man standing match. Special guest commentator, Coltrane. Oh, wait a minute, Lita was looking, was looking for the, the heads. The headstand back elbow, but no, it was reversed. And now Lita looking to get back into this contest, as I was saying later on tonight. Shawn Michaels versus Stain, last man standing match. Special guest commentary by the one, the only Coltrane Productions and expert gaming as China fires back with the right hand. Now China from behind. Look at the power of China with an electric chair drop. And then, of course, in your main event, the finals of the King of the Rain tournament. Chris Benoit versus Bobby Lashley in the main event. What a match those two are going to put on here tonight to close out the show, but what a match we are witnessing right here in front of us is China sends Lita flying off the top rope. Lita is in trouble here. Lita trying to get some separation, trying to find a way to get back into this contest, looking for her opening, and oh my God, a whippersnapper. And Lita goes crashing to the floor on the outside. This is not a no disqualification match. This is not an anything goes. Lita's got to get her back in the ring. But I think Lita might want to hit that apron power bomb, that, that apron China bomb. But Lita saw it coming. Lita fighting out of it. Smart move by Lita. And now Lita has China and sends her into the steel steps. Into the steel steps. And now Lita quickly going back up to the top rope. High risk. Could be high reward. China's all the way on the floor. Lita top rope. Cross body. Off the top rope to the floor, crashing on top of the champion. No wasted motion by Lita. Lita knows what's at stake here. She knows the challenge that she's got ahead of her. And now Lita back in the rain, China up to her feet. Lita spinning power bomb. A spin out power bomb to China, but China not staying down, not giving up, refusing to quit here. So Lita sent her into the corner, starts lighting her up with a Ric Flair like chops. Man, that ate a curb stomp at the hands of Seth Rollins earlier tonight in the shades of Jeff Hardy, former Team Extreme member. We saw him earlier tonight as well, came so close to capturing the SmackDown Tag Team titles, but it was Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero that walked out with those titles. As Lita now looking for possibly a twist of fate, but no, here comes the ninth wonder of the world. Here comes China. Here comes the champion. No, oh, wait, no, Lita. Lita caught her with a knee. Lita caught her with a knee. And now Lita, Lita with the roll up. Lita might steal the title here. She might steal a victory here. She might go to WrestleMania, but no, a kick out at two. 
My oh my, back and forth matchup, ladies and gentlemen. And China reverses the right hand. And China lighting up. Oh, Lita with a forearm shot right to the head. Lita getting rocked there. And now China in the corner with a massive shot right to the chest. China measuring Lita. Running, oh my God, running hip attack. Lita's in massive trouble. Lita is in massive trouble now. This match has turned into the favor of China in a massive DDT. Good God, ladies and gentlemen. What a women's championship match we are witnessing here as Lita gets sent off the ropes. Wait, no, Lita reversed it. Lita kicked to the gut. Wait a minute, Lita. Lita, Lita's got her. Lita DDT. Lita DDT. That's it. That's it. Two, no, kick out at two, China won't stay down. This is wrestling, this is awesome, this is women's wrestling. This is what the women's division's all about. Lita sends China into the corner, but China fighting out of the corner. Fighting, getting her back away from the wall, and now gonna look to get back into this contest one more time. Gonna look to catch that second wind here. And a massive spine buster to lead up. The champion is on a roll. But does she have what it takes? Does she have what it takes to put away Lita, the woman that took her out at WrestleMania 20? Can't try to do it. The hands spring back, elbow down goes the contender. Down goes their number one contender. Now China, you know what's coming next. Looking for the pedigree, but Lita caught the leg. Lita caught the leg. What's she looking for here? Sends it to the outside of the ring. Sends it to the outside of the ring in a whipper stepper to China. And China goes crashing to the floor. China goes crashing to the floor and Lita the big body splash off the apron. A big body splash off the apron onto the champion. And now Lita. I think we know what Lita's looking to do here. Shades of WrestleMania. She told China, uh, oh my God. She told China on SmackDown that I took you out at WrestleMania. I'm gonna do the same thing I came to the ring, but this time, there will be no one to take advantage. This time I'm gonna take you out and take your women's title. That's exactly what China is looking to, that's exactly what Lita's looking to do to China here. Referee at a count of six, but China fighting back. China fighting back. Referee at a count of seven, trying to realize she's got to get her back in the ring. She's going to do just that. Lead up back up to her feet. China, wait a minute. China got caught. China got caught. Twist of fate. Twist of fate. She got caught. Now Lita going to the top rope. Lita, wait a minute. Lita salt to the back. China just turned over at the last second. Is that enough to put her away the one, two? She's got her no. The frustration is building on Lita. Lita doesn't know what she's got to do to put her away. She doesn't know what she's got to do. Lita measuring China. Could be looking for the spear, but China picked her up, picked her up, and three falls are down to the mat. China with the power. Still this deep into the match. Dig it deep down to the reserve to retain the women's title. Top rope. China, what's she looking for here? Massive right hand. China, wait a minute. Putting it all on the line. Superplex from the top rope. I agree. And now China calling Lita up to her feet. You know what's coming next. Pop up China on to Lita. That is curtains. One, two, three. What? Lita staying in the fight. I don't believe this. Lita won't quit. Barely able to get up to her feet, having to use the turnbuckle to get up to her feet. What is it going to take? China hooking her up on the top rope. What's she looking for here? Oh, wait, Lita caught her. Lita caught her with an elbow. Lita, Hurricane Rana, and she stacks her up. She stacks her up, new champion. New champion, no, barely kicking out of that one. 
China barely kicked out of that one. I thought it was over. I thought Lita just stole the title, but now Lita has China. What's she looking for here? Sends it to the outside of the ring. Gonna be looking to go for it again. For the third time in this match, Lita's gonna throw caution to the wind. Lita is gonna look to do it again. No, a right hand! China caught her with a right hand! Lita's rocked. She stays. She's confused. And she's in trouble. Pedigree. Pedigree. But China, it took everything that China had to hit that pedigree. Too much time may have passed. Is that enough? Oh, no. Too much time passed. Lita was able to recover. And China. Lita rolls to the outside of the ring and China says, nah, -uh, nah, uh we're not done, we're not done. China is gonna hit that apron power bomb. Good God almighty. We saw her hit it on Nidia a few weeks ago and she just did it again to Lita. That has gotta do it. Sent her back in the ring and it's curtains. But China doesn't want to finish her off. She wants to hit the pedigree again. But China, China got reversed. China got reversed. And it closed right to the outside of the ring. There's no way. There's no way Lita was able to recover. Lita closed on China to the outside of the ring. How many times were these two going to go back to back on the outside? Wait a minute. Twist the fate. Twist the fate on the floor. That's it. New women's champion. Send her back in the ring. Hit the lead assault and get the win, Lita. This is your moment that you've been waiting for. But Lita, what the hell? Why? Why is she doing this? Lita wants to do the same thing that she did at WrestleMania 20. Lita going to the top rope. China's on the announce table. Good God almighty, China moved out of the way. China moved out of the way. Lita made one mistake. Lita made one mistake and it just cost her the women's title. Lita hasn't moved since she went flying through that announce table. China has scouted and now avalanche pedigree to Lita. Cover, hooks the leg, China retains. Lita made one mistake and it just cost her the women's title. Lita made one mistake and it just cost her the title. But ladies and gentlemen, the match is set. SummerSlam, China, Beth Phoenix, the women's championship on the line. Sean, you're about to go out there and face the Icon Sting in a last man standing match. And there's one question on everyone's mind. Do you know who left you the note this past Monday night on Raw? I can honestly say that I have no idea who left me that note. I haven't exactly made a lot of friends during my time in WWE, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I will do whatever it takes to ensure that the Wolf Pack is stopped right here tonight. I said it on Raw, and I'll say it again. There will be no invasion because the invasion ends with me. Thank you for taking the time, Sean, and good luck in your match. Ladies and gentlemen, the last man standing match is up next, so let's turn it over to Expert Gaming. Well, welcome back to King of the Ring, folks. It is time for the second edition of Shawn Michaels versus the icon, Sting. This rivalry, ever since back at Bad Blood's gotten personal. It has gotten brutal, to say the least. And tonight, we look to end it in a last man standing match. Co-main event of the evening here at King of the Ring. I am expert. 
I was here for the first match between these two at Bad Blood, a classic, it's a classic on that night. But this time, because of how severe this rivalry has gotten, I have been forced to bring in a partner of my own. I give you the one, the only, Cole Train. Cole, how you feel going to this massive last man standing contest? I feel amazing, expert. It feels absolutely incredible to be here. I am thankful for the opportunity to call this miraculous match between two legends, two icons, and no pun intended, in Sting and Shawn Michaels. You see the Ultimax hanging above the ring for a match earlier on tonight, but this is no Ultimate X match. This is last man standing. It's gonna be as brutal, as bloody, as vicious as it could possibly be here tonight between these two men. Only way to win, but I have the referee's count of 10. Only way to lose, sorry, is out comes the heartbreak here of the showstopper, the main event, Mr. WrestleMania. Shawn Michaels looking to get a massive win over the icon. That's going to be easier said than done because the icon Sting his, and his group has taken over the WWE piece by piece. And it all ends here tonight with the last piece going with Shawn Michaels. Let me tell you something, expert. Sting will not lose this match. Sting will find a way to keep the so-called Mr. WrestleMania, although he's the Mr. Wrestle loser at WrestleMania because he has more losses than wins at WrestleMania, but I digress. Sting oh my God, what the will end. Hey, right, you looking on, right? Check, check, check the record books, check the facts. Sting is, uh, uh, honestly, has a better record at WrestleMania than Shawn Michaels. Well, I mean, Sting's what? Maybe you want to know? Hey, come on now. It's only WrestleMania match back at MSG, Matt, WrestleMania 20. Team Hogan take on Hall and Nash, turning on Hogan in that match, making the new version of the Wolfpack at WWE All Time Nash and Halls. Here we go, we're underway. Michaels and Sting. We saw the first match, it was more of a slow paced, methodical match. This time we're going right for the right for the heavy blows here, Cole. Indeed, and you can just see how pissed off Shawn Michaels is in this matchup. Look, look, look at those blows already hitting the chest already and taking down Sting. I mean, Sting, since since WrestleMania has been on one hell of a war path, first taking out the Mortal Kombat Hogan, as I stated previously, then a backlash taking out the great one, the people's champion, The Rock, and he's going to retire. Now Shawn Michaels, the Wolfpack, team going after the biggest star in WWE history, piece by piece, person by person. I love how The Rock is sitting at home in the retirement home, right where he belongs, by the way. And I'm that pathetic Hulk Hogan had, had got what his will was coming to him. It was one of the greatest nights in professional wrestling history. What are you talking about? The Wolfpack, oh, they've been absolutely despicable since before back at Bad Blood Hall and no, actually they come up at the WrestleMania. They've what been, what they've been the best thing going around here, expert. What are you talking about? It's finally about? time for change. Has been attacked. It, 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 over and over again on Raw, like, oh, na Hall, look, Nash, look, look, and Sting. Look, listen here. It's time for change. It's time for these old school pe people that have been here forever and ever that don't know when to hang up the damn boots to go home. Like Shawn Michaels. It, it, it's what time for Shawn Michaels about? Shawn Michaels, he falls way back, and, damn it. Come on now. Shawn Michaels all the way back after a career and back injury. He took him out of, of action for four years. Why wouldn't he want to come back? Well, he, he, he wouldn't want to come back because now, it's, see if he can re aggravate that back. He... he Look, he might not have a better end to his life, okay? Because you know why? Because Ooh, he's not going to walk again. Oh, my God. Shawn Michaels is coming to Raw. has been targeted by the Wolfpack. Lost a, a SmackDown, the U.S. Championship Day, just out in the Steel Cage match at Judgment Day. And Michaels here on Raw so far has been, hasn't been able to get started in the, on Raw because of the Wolfpack. Looks to end this tonight. He takes Sting around the ringside area like a, like a rag doll here, bouncing him off the, the truss with the Ultimate X. Now under the guardrail, Shawn Michaels is taking Sting to task here. Speaking of that back, targeting the back of Sting here. You know, Sting has suffered previous injuries to his back in the past. They're really very smart here by Shawn Michaels. Begins his town here, Cole. Yeah, first time right for the referee, I'm pretty sure. Cut yeah, kind of four already. Expert. Uh, hey, come on, Sting, get up. Oh, Sting is barely moving, and oh. at five, he's up. Wait a minute, Michaels. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Shawn Michaels saw Sting stir. He takes him right back down to the floor with that dive over the top rope. 
down those guys. And how you feeling right now, Cole? Shawn Michaels is beating Sting like he's a what? Well, he's a wounded animal. What? Well, I never said Shawn Michaels wasn't that good in the ring. I mean, they don't call him the showstopper for no reason. And moves like that proves that. Let's hope Sting can recover, though. Michaels back in the ring up to the top. We're going to fly here. Watch Sting up. We're going to go for the count. Instead, Michaels is going to go. Oh, no. And Sting slams him down. Emphatically, by the way. And again, to the injured back of Shawn Michaels. That scoop slam. Sending reverberations up and down the spine, up and down the back of HBK. And, and Sting knows that into the corner back for that. Michael just crumples to the floor. Exactly. Sting is using using that previous injury to his advantage and targeting that back to make it hard for Shawn Michaels to make the count of 10. That's how he's supposed to do it. I think it's working. Now, come on, wait a minute. Don't look at you, but Sting just with the disrespect, the knee to the throat. That's a, that's a call for. Come on, Sting. Th that's not disrespectful. He he's doing his job. Doing his job. This wouldn't even be a job if he don't want to talk to Shawn Michaels for who knows what reason. Wait a minute, Sting. What? So no, 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 no! Oh my WWE. God. That's why he did what he did. A power bomb from the ring to the floor, almost near concrete out there, and Shawn Michaels is not moving. Look at Shawn Michaels' neck. The way his position. Michaels. Michaels could be out. Th this is it. Make that count. Oh! Oh, no. I'm about to be able to count four. Oh, and I'll cross body in my sting! Ah. And now Sting is feeling it here at King of the Ring. Shawn Michaels definitely is not. That may be it. That's it. I think we're done here. But oh, no, once again, a count of four. Michael's able to get back up to his feet. But for how long? No! The vertical suplex on the floor again to the back. The broken back of Shawn Michaels. Uh -oh. Now using what we, what we seen earlier on. Maybe maybe he's using that steel to their advantage expert. But oh, wait a minute. I don't know, maybe it's a different kind of steel. Thinking? He's taking it up to the up on the ramp here. That's all steel. There's no give on that, but Michael's fighting back. Thankfully. For the sake of his career, maybe his life even. I agree. This is this is dangerous territory. Oh wait, wait a minute. Shawn Michaels now want to take Sting up there. And look, expert. Shawn Michaels is barely walking straight. Uh, Did yeah, you see he's, that? He's hunched over. He's he, his his legs, like, his arms are dangling. This is not good for Shawn Michaels. That power bomb to the floor didn't sure damage to HPK. It did. It might have been a, the, the difference maker between a win and a loss here for Sting. I mean, he, he could have rebroken that back for God's sake. Remember when he did break his back? He wanted to defeat the Undertaker in a casket match. Not many people could say that. And especially with a broken back. So Shawn Michaels, he knows he can fight through the pain of a broken back. He knows he can win with a oh, broken oh, back. Definitely. He also could win. And, and, and it was not a normal match. It was a casket match. It's the last man standing, though. As true as Sting, uh oh. Clutches Michaels again, the power of the iPod on his plane again to the back. What a backbreaker. Michaels rising in pain. And the pain just keeps getting worse and worse and worse as the moves continue to hit the back. And it looks like oh Sting oh is going to dangerous. He's going to toss him off the stage, I think, but Michaels, thank, thank God, fighting back. Fighting Sting off. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Michaels is a dog! Oh my god! And now uh, this is so some chip by this pig in the ring crowd! Wow! Count of four, Sting has the move. He got he first he got tossed off the stage and he got splashed by Michaels off the stage on the Sting! Count of uh, six, I believe, and Sting is back up somehow. How is the icon still standing? Well, it's all about resilience. And Sting had to have resilience for years and years in his career. And it's paying off tonight. I mean, that is true, but now Sting being dog walked here by Shawn Michaels in the crowd in front of these ravenous people here at King of the Ring. They, they paid their hard-earned money. They paid that ticket and see the Sting go down, see the Wolfpack go down to the hands of HPK and give it to him up close and personal right here, right now. 
in a last minute well, match. Well, I had to break it to you, pal, but the Wolfpack is not going down tonight, next week. It ain't happening. How sure are you of that after Sting comes off this damn stage? I mean, come on. I'm damn sure because Sting is resilient. And, and, and he will prove that by the end of this match when he is the last man standing. Right now, he's not Michaels. Look at this. The crowd all on their feet for HBK to look, the, to look behind Shawn Michaels. He stalks Sting. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Sting, oh my God. It's with the baseball bat. The baseball bat to the gut of Michaels. And we could barely see it. Oh, right between the eyes. It's just... You can see their bodies just echoing in a shadow scene. We know that Sting is up because of those red boots. And you know, Sting also loves the shadows. You see it in the past. You see them strike under the cover of darkness in the, before. Like a backlash against the rock. You know, Michael's it was a great ball, by the way. Though. Oh, come on. Give me a break. Kind of six of Michael's back up. I am but so for glad the Wayne is at home. Oh, God, where, where, where he belongs. Leave the man alone, all right? He was... He didn't deserve that. He did nothing wrong. He's just come out, come out here and retire in front of all these people. I think attacked them for what we know for right now is basically no reason. Well, the reason is, and this is my logical explanation, he did it so people, so, so he can remind the people of who he is, who the wolf pack is. They're here to take over. Look, Michael is basically lifeless now. It's a back at ringside here, folks. And now, oh no. This is shades of bad blood. Good. The table being wiped by oh. Stan. Now the other announced table. Oh my God, this is not good, Cole. Michaels is in big trouble right now. This is, wait a minute. Switch the music. He caught him. Where the hell, where did that come from? But Michaels breaks the count. What are you doing, Sean? Being an idiot. Oh, oh no. Not, are they not being doing? smart. I think I know what he's doing, Cole. This is again shades of bad blood. Think Try about this, Michael. Stopped by the Wolf Pack. Think about this, Michael. Think about your back. Tonight. Think about your long term health, Sean. Don't do this. Don't do oh this, Sean. God. Sean, no. that, without looking at his eyes here, Cole. Michael's going to fly. Oh, my God. He's a maniac. A springboard moonsault off the middle rope through the officer's table. Maybe it's through the body of the icon Sting and both men are down in the wreckage of this no. announcer's table. No, get up Sting, get up. Six. Are you no. Sting? What are you talking about? Seven. Kind of seven. We both men have to move. What's the one talking about? I'm, I'm expecting a great match and get up. No. 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 Michaels is up, Sting is up. Good. Yes. At, at nine and look. And just stare down. Oh my God! Sting is fired up. Tells Michael to bring it on. Oh, oh, come so on, smoking. the disrespect. Targeting it back to the days of DX, and here we go. These two brawling on the records of the announcer's table here at King of the Ring. This is what it, this rivalry has gotten to between these two icons, these two legends. But how much can each person take? That's the question that we have to answer right now. What will it take? What will get first? Will it be Shawn Michaels' back? Or will it be maybe Sting's jaw? As Michaels underneath the ring, oh my oh, god! Oh. Another take! Big part of this last standing match called Sting is in big trouble right now. I mean, what? Wait, it's not! Where's enough enough, man? I mean, stop this! Oh, but if it's Sting, I'm sure you love it, wouldn't you? No! I'm just trying to protect both these players here. Sure, I'm gonna go with that. I highly doubt it. But Sting, oh, right. firing up again. Michael seems just laying on that table. He, could, he could, might be out here. Sting might even need that, but the referee could count 10 right now. This could be it. Oh, oh. my God. Oh my God. Now what in the world does Sting plan to do with a, a ladder for God's sake? Sting trying to create his own pro wrestling moment. That's what that is. Hasn't he, had a, hasn't he had enough? I mean, come on, he's had a straight career. This is no reason for him to be acting the way he is. Uh, better, come on, uh, Sting. Well, 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 as they say, expert, desperate times call for desperate measures. You you do whatever it takes to win in this business. Now, putting the table up here, Sting and Larry's up as well. Michael, switch your music! Again, Sting this time is on the table! Where the hell Sting. is these sweet shit music coming from, man? 
ring is no. out. Sean, Sean. Michaels making the climb. Think about this. No, no. Shades of back in 94. Shades of Ready for Motor WrestleMania thing. May have just been crushed by the showstopper. A spike on the top of the ladder through the table, through Sting. And that move right there won Shawn Michaels that match at WrestleMania. Will there be another win? Wait a minute! Here, here they are! Oh, oh they are! Yes! The yes. Fall and Nash, the Wolf Pack are here. You gotta be kidding me. What the? <laughs> no, not again. No, come on, damn it. This isn't right. This Back is like up a bad blood. Alive, baby. Back up No, 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 no. Let's go. Let's We're having go. an amazing match before this. Come on now. This doesn't. Oh, that's your need out here. Michael's going right after his four best friends in the twin in the Wolf Pack. Paul and Nash. Bro, it's two on one, damn it. Yes, sir. You come to the aid of your brother, baby. Woo! Give me a break. This is absolutely disgusting. This, this is abhorrent, for God's sake. Stick his out in the ring. I even had Barely my able to stand. Break right next to me. I, I, look, I knew that was coming. Oh, God. My God. You hear that sound? Michael's head bouncing off the steel on the ramp. And Scott Hall taking it to Michael's. Come on now. Yeah, Wolfpack is back, baby. We love it. Listen to the ah. crowd here at Tandering. I agree with them. This is disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all And now right into the waiting arms of Sting. Give me a break. Y'all saying it because you're oh, oh, wait a minute! Bad guy is down! No! There's only two left of Sting from behind Scorpion Death Drop! God ah. damn it! There it is! This is just, this just is so hideous. beautiful to see. I love it. I love hideous. it. The Wolfpack are making a mockery of this one straight sport, damn it. They're making a damn over mockery. Over and over and over. Give me a break. They're, they're making, they're and now making a, this again, field just like bad blood. be one of the best things Nash. of all time. Wait a minute. No. No. No way. There's no way to stay here. It can't be. No. He, no, no. It's got to be a joke, right? No. He is. Oh, my God. What the hell is he doing here? Where's security? Where's security? Get this buffoon out of here! For the first time since WrestleMania, back in Madison Square Garden, says he was attacked, says he was laid out by Hall, Nash, and Sting. The immortal Hulk Hogan is here! Oh. And he is making the save for HBK! This, this buffoon, this, this disgusting man is here! Somebody stop this! Yes! Come on, Scott! Go get him! Get him! The old NWO meeting the new NWO, the Wolf Pack. Hogan, Hall, and Ash like good old times, but not this time. Here goes Hogan after Nash, now after Hall. The Immortal is running wild all over the outsiders right now. Somebody stop this, please. Get Hogan out of here. Where's security? Security not doing the damn jobs? I know you want security when Hogan's out here, but not when the Wolf Pack are out here. Give me a come, come on now. We don't need that man here, Hogan. Hey, wait a minute! No! He's retired! Well, not anymore! The rock! Rock bottom! To Sting! What the hell is this man? Michaels has seemingly found some backup against the wolf pack. The odds are even now. This is so unfair! This is a travesty to pro wrestling. And absolutely the last time travesty. we saw The Rock was back at Backlash when he gave his retirement speech to the fans before he was attacked by Sting. And now The Rock with a little piece of Sting's own medicine. A second rock bottom. This time to the other announcer's table. Come on, man. This is, this is horrible. Horrible. Nash is down. Hall is down. Sting is down. Hogan and The Rock standing tall and we'll pack tonight, but there's still a match going on. No DQ. Hey, hey is this legal? No, no. This no, is legal. No, no DQ. I see no, question if it's legal or not when well, the Wolf Pack are out here attacking Michaels. Sean is up. He's turning up the band. And third, sweet chair music to Sting. No. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this expert. Get up, Sting. Get up. In my opinion, the Wolf Pack getting what they deserve to making a mockery of this sport. 
What do they do here, Dessert? Did they make a mockery? They made this sport better. This is the travesty here. What are you talking about? They these made a mockery of it, but the constant attacks are with these legends, the, these you, icons. This is a man a refund. You, you get your money back. The referee has gotten the 10. Shawn Michaels has beaten Sting in the rematch for the ages. I, I, I have no more words. This, this is horrible. Hey, Michaels, shares a look to The Rock. The Rock shares a look to Michaels. Now to Hogan. Tell him, come on in, let's celebrate this thing. And I don't blame him. The Immortal, the People's Champion, the Heartbreak Kid, Ah, Stage Holy Ray, the King of the Ring, as the Wolf Pack run on back to wherever hole they came a calling out of. Michaels with the one here at King of the Ring. My God, what a match! Congrats on retaining your world title edge. Do you feel special with how you went about that? Does it make you feel proud? Randy Orton is being examined by medical staff right now, and you're sitting here smiling. Are you happy, Edge? What? 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 Answer me. Never mind, shut the hell up. The fact is this. CM Punk may have stopped you from ending Orton's career, but you did not beat Randy Orton. You played the rules to your advantage. So the way I see it, this little feud between you and Orton isn't over. We need to have a decisive winner. So here's what's going to happen. You're going to defend that world title again tomorrow night on Raw. What? Against Randy Orton. One-on-one. -on -one. In the main event. What? And if you get counted out or disqualified, what? Randy Orton will be crowned the new world heavyweight champion. What? Now get the hell out of my face so I can watch the rest of this pay-per-view. And bring me another Steve Weissel. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. It is now time for the main event of the evening. It is the finals of the King of the Rain tournament. If you are still tuning in this far into the pay-per-view, thank you all so much for stopping by. As we head into the main event, if you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so and leave a like on this video. I also want to send a special shout out and thank you to all of the commentators that stepped foot in the booth here tonight. A lot of amazing moments, a lot of amazing matches. It is now time to bring it all to a close. As the rabid Wolverine, Chris Benoit, makes his way to the ring for arguably the biggest opportunity in his entire career against arguably the toughest opponent in his entire career. Chris Benoit defeated the likes of Eddie Guerrero, Mr. Kennedy, and Jeff Hardy to get here tonight. It took Chris Benoit turning on his partner, Daniel Bryan, and going at it alone to get this opportunity. But will it all be worth it? We are about to find out, ladies and gentlemen. This has been one hell of a pay-per-view so far. It is not over yet. Awesome matches, great returns. We saw the return of Hulk Hogan and The Rock in the last match. What an amazing moment that was, but it's time for the main event, and it is time for the new big thing. The almighty Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley, oh, hold on a minute. Bobby Lashley defeated the likes of Sting, Ric Flair, and some can even say Goldberg to get here tonight. Of course, Goldberg lost his match by a count out after the lights went out. He was found out that he was, it was found that he was taken out through a table. We don't know who did it or why they did it, but nevertheless, a victory is a victory. That's how Bobby Lashley got here tonight, but you cannot discredit Bobby Lashley. This is a man that absolutely dismantled 
former Paul Heyman guy, Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 20. Paul Heyman aligned himself with Bobby Lashley at No Way Out. And since then, Bobby Lashley has been on a tear. And he could have the same meteoric rise that Brock Lesnar had if he, if he, can, if he can become the king of the rain winner here tonight. But will he do it? We're about to find out. The bell is rung. Main event underway. Let's do this as Chris Benoit takes the first step. These two are going to meet center of the ring. What a match this is about to be, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Benoit staring down Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley staring down Benoit. Who will reign supreme? King of the Ring Finals, Chris Benoit. Showing that he is does not fear Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley taking those shots from Chris Benoit. He took the first shot to this match. Chris Benoit off the ropes and he runs into an elbow. It is Bobby Lashley's strength versus Chris Benoit's in-ring technique. Will Oh, which one will prevail in this match? Bobby Lashley picks up Benoit. Sent him into the corner. And here comes Bobby Lashley. We've seen this before. Full head of steam with a running right hand. Chris Benoit giving up a lot of size and power advantage to Bobby Lashley. And then a flat liner down goes the rabbit Wolverine. What a match this is going to be. What a night this has been. Can't wait to see how this match ends. It's Bobby Lashley. Wait a minute. Into the corner. And a belly to belly suplex. And there's the power game. There's the power of Chris Benoit. He just sent... Or there's the power of Bobby Lashley. He just sent Chris Benoit flying to the other side of the ring. You see where he landed? On the other side of the damn ring. And here comes Chris Benoit. One thing that we love about Chris Benoit is he never gives up. He keeps fighting until he has nothing to fight left. And Chris Benoit, wise move here, gonna go after the legs of Bobby Lashley, gonna try to wear down the Almighty. He knows that the best way to take out Bobby Lashley is to go after the legs, go after that vertical base, but Bobby Lashley fighting him off. And now Bobby Lashley sent him off the ropes and a massive power slam to Chris Benoit. First cover of the match, is that enough to do it? Two, kind of two in a kick out. We are mere minutes into the match and already seeing a count of two on Chris Benoit. That is how much damage Bobby Lashley can do in such a little amount of time. Sent him into the corner, Bobby Lashley measuring this man full head of steam, looking for the corner spear, but Chris Benoit moved out of the way and a running knee right in the corner. Benoit moved out of the way at the last possible second and now Chris Benoit lighting up Lashley here. There's those patented chops to Chris Benoit. Now Chris Benoit sends Lashley to the outside of the ring. Chris Benoit could be looking to gain a little bit of momentum here. Could be looking to speed up the pace. Measuring this man, you know what's coming next. Gonna look for that suicide dive. Benoit full head of steam, but oh, come on, Paul Heyman. The X Factor in this match, Paul Heyman grabbing the legs. Benoit gonna look for it anyway, but Bobby Lashley got back in the ring and floored Chris Benoit with a clothesline. Paul Heyman playing a factor in this match and I cannot say that I'm surprised. Will it be enough to make sure that Lashley gets the victory here tonight? Good God almighty. Now Bobby Lashley with the power. Oh, Gorilla Press Slam into the gut buster. And now Lashley picks him up from the ground. Picks him up from the ground and a running power slam cover. Hooks the leg. Is that enough to put him away? No, it's not a kick out of two. It's been a long night. It's been a hell of a night. Hell of a pay-per-view. Hell of a cane of the ring. Looking forward to seeing how all these matches we carry over into our SummerSlam pay-per-view as Bobby Lashley now having his arm targeted by Chris Benoit. That in rain prowess of Chris Benoit going after all the limbs of, of Lashley because he knows if you take out the vertical base, he can't hit his big moves. He can't stay on his feet. If you take out the arms, he's got no power game. Chris Benoit is wise. He is a master class inside that rain and he has proven it here tonight. Now Benoit gonna go after the lower back Gonna go after the lower back. Now going after the side of the face. And now Benoit going after the arm once again. Look at Benoit. Look at the power of, look at the strategy here. Perfect 
strategy on the on the part of Crispin. Wow, and a massive knee to the small of the back. And now Benoit gonna follow it up, gonna keep the pressure on that lower back. Look at the surfboard stretch. The surfboard on Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley is in a lot of trouble here. Getting his back stretched out by Benoit. And Lashley trying to fight out. And he does, goes for the pin, but Benoit quickly kicks out of that one. Benoit looks for the kick, but Benoit got reversed. Massive forearm shot by Lashley. Now Lashley, he's got the pump handle. A pump handle and he tosses Benoit across the ring. The power of Lashley is damn near unmatched in WWE. I don't think Benoit was expecting this, but he should have. Bobby Lashley, another belly to belly suplex sending Benoit across the ring. Good God almighty and a, oh my God, one handed spine buster. Benoit's hurt. Benoit's in trouble. I cannot imagine that Benoit has much left. And now the, the power on full display once again on the part of Lashley. One handed vertical suplex, good God. This is a, a specimen like no other. Into the cover and a kick out of two somehow. Somehow Benoit staying in the fight. Somehow, someway, Benoit stays in the fight. Lashley sends him off the ropes. No, Benoit reversed it. Kick to the gut. Benoit looking to keep the pressure on Lashley. Looking to get back into this contest. Looking to gain some momentum. He's going to look for it again. Sends Lashley to the outside of the ring. Benoit stalking his man. But this time, Paul Heyman is not on the other side of the ring. This time, there's nobody to stop Benoit from nailing him with a suicide dive. Suicide dive out of Lashley. But Benoit's not done. Benoit's not done. Coming off the ropes once again. And another suicide dive. Another suicide dive. And Benoit going back in the ring again. Going back in the ring again. Here comes Benoit for a third time. But Lashley caught him. Lashley caught him into a belly to belly through the announce table. Good God! Benoit's out! He just went flying through that announce table off the belly to belly! Cover! Hooks the leg! That's gonna do it! Oh my God! Benoit kicked out! Benoit kicked out and I can't believe it! Benoit with the will to survive here. He just went crashing through that announce table and he kicked out. Benoit refusing to quit. Benoit on the middle rope. Massive shoulder tackle. Massive shoulder tackle to Lashley. He fouls it up with a headbutt. Benoit trying to gain some momentum, trying to get back into this contest. What's it gonna take to get back into this match? Going back after the arm. Going back after what brought him to the dance. Going after the arm, and then a back suplex to Lashley. Into the cover, hooks the leg. Oh my God, a kick out at one. Benoit's not done nearly enough. But what the hell is gonna be enough to put someone like Bobby Lashley away? There's so far, there's been one man that had Bobby Lashley's number, and he is not here tonight, he is on suspension. But could Benoit have his number here? But no, Lashley fighting out of the corner. Bobby Lashley looks for the big boot. Benoit ducks it. Benoit ducks it. And here comes Benoit. Here comes Benoit. Ducks the clothesline of Lashley. And out Benoit. German suplex. And you know what's going to follow that. Another one. Taking Bobby Lashley to suplex city. Lashley's in trouble. Benoit got back into this contest, but is it enough to keep Lashley down? Benoit, top rope, you know what's coming next. The diving headbutt from the top. Diving headbutt. Cover him. One, two. No, holy kick out at two, it's not enough. It is not enough. 
These fans chanting it, and I, I don't disagree. Fight forever. I'd love to see him fight forever, but there's got to be a winner. And that winner very well could be Bobby Lashley, because here comes Lashley. Here comes the new big thing. Here comes the almighty. With a massive spine buster. He's got Benoit right where he wants him. And now Lashley measuring his man, stalking his prey. Lashley gonna look for that patented running spear. Here it comes. Oh, no, Benoit slipped out of the way. Benoit got out of the way. And now Benoit, Benoit, cross face is locked in. Cross face is locked in, but Lashley's foot. You can see it right there, clear as day. Lashley's foot was on the bottom rope. Was it luck or was it great in ring awareness by Bobby Lashley? I don't know, but it doesn't matter. This match continues. Benoit trying to create some separation. Bobby Lashley sends it to the outside. Benoit hangs on to the apron. Here comes Lashley. Spear! A spear! Bobby Lashley put it all on the line. And it made freedom all the way to SummerSlam to fight for the world title. Can he follow it up? Bobby Lashley. Spear! Spear! Cover! That's it! Hooks the leg! Oh my god, he kicks out again. Benoit won't quit, but look at the smirk on Lashley. It's almost as if, he, as if he's saying, get up on your own peril. Here comes Lashley, gonna look for the spear again. Wait a minute, Benoit caught it! Benoit caught him! Wait a minute, wait a minute! The sharpshooter, shades of the general manager, smacked out Bret Hart, the sharpshooter is locked in on, ben, on, on Bobby Lashley. The sharpshooter is locked in. Lashley might not have choice. He might not have a choice. He might have to tap out here. He might have to tap out, but no, Lashley's gonna fight out of it. Lashley fought out of it, and now Lashley Sent him off the ropes. No, Benoit reversed it. Crossface, crossface again. This time Lashley's got nowhere to go. Crossface, crossface. And oh, come on, Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman distracting the referee. You've got to be kidding me. The referee distracted by Paul Heyman. And now Benoit is screaming at the referee to pay attention. He's screaming at him to pay attention. But Lashley's back up to his feet. Spear, no. Oh, Lashley took out the ref. Lashley took out the referee and a cross face again, cross face again. Lashley, Lashley's tapping out. Lashley's tapping out, but the referee is down. There was nobody to see it. You've got to be kidding me. But wait a minute, Lashley spear, spear. But again, the ref is down. The ref is down, there was no one to make the count. Both men had the win right there. What the hell do we do now? Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. No, 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 no way. There's no way. There's no way. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, he is here. The beast is back off his suspension and you know what the beast is back for he's back to get his hands on Bobby Lashley Brock Lesnar's back the beast is here and the beast is staring a hole through Paul Heyman his former advocate Paul Heyman wants nothing to do with Brock Lesnar but Brock Lesnar doesn't give a damn. Brock doesn't give a damn. Wait a minute. Nothing to do. F5 to Paul Heyman. And guess what, Paul? This is a, a dual branded pay per view. You can't have Brock suspended this time. Brock Lesnar is back. Brock is back to get some payback on the man that got him suspended. Brock Lesnar is at King of the Ring and Brock Lesnar is staring a hole through Bobby Lashley. Oh my God, I've got goosebumps, ladies and gentlemen. 
Lashley, Lesnar come face to face again. Lashley looks to take the first shot, but Bobby Lashley gets caught with a headbutt. Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar, Scott Lashley, Lesnar, Scott Lashley. Wait a minute. And F5 to Bobby Lashley. F5 to Lashley. Bobby Lashley gets taken out at the hands of Brock Lesnar here tonight. But Brock Lesnar's not done. Lesnar's not done. Oh my God. Bobby Lashley's in trouble. Brock Lesnar has him right where he wants him. There's nobody to save you now. There's nobody to save you now, Lashley. Brock Scott Lashley. Brock Scott Lashley on the announce table. Wait a minute. F5 through the announce table. The Beast is back. Lesnar has taken out Lashley. Lesnar has taken out Paul Heyman. And Lesnar is back with a vengeance. Good God Almighty, ladies and gentlemen, the Beast has returned at King of the Ring. Lesnar's taken out Lashley, but ladies and gentlemen, there's still a match going on. The referee was down. He didn't see a damn thing. The referee is down, he, but he's back up now. He was down, but he's back up. Benoit starting back up to his feet. Lashley's down. Center of the ring. Center of the ring. Benoit diving headbutt off the top rope. Diving headbutt. Diving headbutt cover. Hooks the leg. Bad no! No, he done it. I thought Benoit had it. Lashley kicks out of two. Lashley kicked out of two. Chris Benoit gonna look for the cross face. Gonna look for the cross face, but Lashley fought out of it. Lashley fought out of it. Spear, spear. Lashley's gonna do it anyway. Lashley's gonna do it anyway. One, two. Oh my God. Benoit kicked out. Benoit kicked out. Lashley can't believe it. He kicked out of another spear. Now Lashley's stalking his man. You know what's coming next. The Dominator. But wait a minute. Benoit slips out. Benoit slips out. Cross face. Cross face. Cross face. Center of the ring. Center of the ring. Heyman is down. There's nobody to stop him. There's nobody to stop Benoit. There's nobody to help Lashley. Lashley. Lashley has got no choice. Lashley has got to tap out. Wow. What a match. What a contest. What a war. I thought that once the referee got knocked down, it was all over for Benoit. But that man, Brock Lesnar, returned to get some payback, to get some retribution on Lashley and Heyman. And I thought that gave Benoit enough time to get the victory, but no, Lashley would kick out, try to fight back. But at the end of the day, the crossface gets the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, the King of the Ring title fits nobody better than Chris Benoit. What a match, what a night. Thank you all for joining me for the King of the Ring pay-per-view.